it's so cold today, but I can't put my jacket on because I have all my makeup done. But this is the makeup look today. This was requested by Shadow Albrecht. It's a Sino makeup look. Uh, Shadow Albrecht used to be Lowell's, but they changed their name. So I finally did it, and now the makeup redemption is back on so you guys can um, redeem a makeup look if you want. It, 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 it it's... It's been a it's been a week. It's been a, a definite week. But let me show you my makeup looks and describe it to you. So, I found this kind of look on um, Pinterest, and I really liked it. So this is what it. Ooh, this is what it was. I couldn't find who the um the original makeup artist was because they this was posted on pinterest from a different uh source so it was kind of hard for me to find it but that's who the makeup look was inspired by and then i kind of added in my own sino twist so we have the purple for him the purple and gold and red for him and then these are supposed to be like his wrappings and then I did gold down the forehead because I didn't want to just do purple. And you know how Sino has like that headpiece? I didn't want to just draw the headpiece because on its own, it doesn't look like a headpiece. You know, it. let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about because <laughs> if I had drawn that on my forehead, it would have looked like something else. Where, let me see if I can. Let me zoom, zoom in. You see that? little piece on his forehead oh it's kind of blurry don't look at my face look at this you see that piece on his forehead if i had put that on it would have looked like something else <laughs> so i didn't do that i just did the swirls and then i wanted to add the red gems because i just love doing gems so ta-da ta-da i was trying to use um it was kind of like a I don't know, like an, a crayon eyeliner, and it was supposed to be duochrome, but I don't see a single bit of duochrome on there. So unfortunately, there isn't as much shine as I wanted there to be. But yeah, so that's the makeup look. I'm really proud of it. I really like it. <laughs> it's, it's just been a long, long, long two weeks. So I think the first... The first reason I canceled stream was because I was going to do um, this this event outside. Wow, doing stuff outside. So I did that event, and then I, when I came home from that event, the next day, Kit was, like, limping, and I didn't know why. Because, you know, sometimes you, they might just, like, have a hard fall and they'll be back to normal. But I brought him inside anyways, and, you know, he was still limping, so I took him to the vet. And, um, unfortunately, he got into a fight, I think, because he was all cut up in a lot of places. So he got an infection from that, so he needed to get um, antibiotics. And he also had a fever when I took him in. So we got that treated. And then it was a week passed and there was he was supposed to be better in a week, but uh, he was still limping. So then that that day I took him into the emergency and that's when I canceled stream the second time. And, you know, I took him in. We got x-rays done. Sorry, I'm throwing something away down, down below. <laughs> We got x-rays done, and fortunately, you know, nothing broken, nothing fractured. It's just a, a really bad soft tissue injury. So he's been limping a lot, but he's getting better. And hopefully soon he'll be 100%. But he's been, like, my main focus recently, other than school. I had a lot of school I need to do. So I've been, like, overwhelmed with school and taking care of Kit. And then... Remember when I told you about that new cat that showed up, that the little one? So she's been hanging around, hanging around, and she won't leave. And, you know, now that Kit is inside, she had all the outside. So, you know, I would split my time between her and Kit. So I would spend like half an hour outside with her, half an hour inside with Kit. 
well, I guess he's always, I'm always inside, so he has more time. But, you know, they got used to having individual time, so I don't know what's going to happen when I need, when he goes back outside. But anyways, I took the little one into the vet because she's been here for a while, so I wanted to see if she was chipped, yada, yada, yada. So we took her in. She is not chipped. So guess she's ours now um she is a girl we found out she's a girl I really thought she was gonna be a guy I I've been like testing guy names so uh I I th she was responding to guy names so I thought you know I tried Casper like Sam recommended um I tried Percy because I had just read the Percy Jackson series I even tried Hades I I kind of liked Hades but you know she's a she's a girl now so We've just been calling her Little One, and when I took her into the vet, we had been calling her Little One, so they put her name down as Little One, and I didn't have the heart to say, them, oh no, we're not going to keep that name, we're going to change it, because everyone was like, oh, we love that, we love Little One, that's such a cute name, and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> guess that's it now, so, <laughs> I have two cats now, and then I... How did I end up with two cats? How did this happen? And then little one, she is under a year old. They're not quite sure how old she is though. So she's not spayed. So she's gonna go into heat soon and then she can get pregnant and I don't want a pregnant cat. And she's so tiny. She's only five pounds. I, I can't let her get pregnant. So I'm... That'll probably be my next focus is getting her spayed. I don't know what's going to go into that, but I'm hoping it won't interrupt this too much. I've been um, trying to post a lot of shorts on YouTube because I didn't have time to like edit videos. So I was posting shorts from like October and then um, TikTok. I tried to film a couple of videos of like makeup looks I was wearing when I went out of the house. I, I saw some friends, so I have some friends uh what else what else what else has been doing i've been doing school so look at my school list isn't this a cute little notepad it's so cute it's you know it has pikachu and eevee where i always get mixed up with the the back and forth but yeah 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 yeah, yeah. just so much i've been watching a lot of uh movies because this is a film class a sci-fi film class so I've been doing a lot of that and then like while I'm watching the movies or doing like um audio work for class I have been on the sims recently <laughs> so I guess I go like through phases of like what I'm sort of interested in so you know it's happened before where I've been really interested into Stardew and Valorant and Sims 4 and it kind of just cycles over and over again. So right now I'm back into Sims 4 and um, I've really been going through a lot of like mods and custom content. And then I was kind of like, oh, if I'm going to do all of this custom content for like my main character it's gonna be kind of weird walking around town with all of these like generic characters so I started giving all of the generic characters re makeovers and <laughs> it's a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be but it's so much fun and then I also have been adding in like new buildings I, I haven't made any of the buildings because I'm not very good at building and that just takes like a ton of time so I've been like adding stuff from the gallery so it's really coming together, but right now Sims 4 has all their packs on like sale. I'm loading Genshin right now. So I've been like kind of listening like what packs do I want to get? How much would it be if I got all of that? But then at the same time, I'm always like, am I going to go through another cycle again where I'm not going to like Sims for a while and then I'm going to have just spent all this money? So I've been holding off on, you know, purchasing it, but my sims content has been getting popular again on youtube and you know since i'm into it again maybe i maybe i should just do it <laughs> say yes or no <laughs> but yeah i've been doing that and uh, it's so much fun i love i love the way you can just mod everything hi raiden welcome to stream oh you've been binging them i have so many more i need to edit like I have all of the live streams posted, but those are like 
hours. So I've been trying to edit down the content. I actually have it written down what order the content needs to go into because next it would be the summer event. Um, the first summer event, actually. That would be the next one I would edit down. And then it would go back into um, the first Liyue our conquest. So, like, I've been trying to organize it all and edit it all. I've been, like, getting better at being consistent with editing. I need a... I got ingredients to film a cooking video because I got requested to film cooking videos again. I was like, yeah, I love doing cooking videos. So, I got ingredients to do that, so I'll film one of those videos soon. I have a ton of makeup looks I can film for, like, long content. Most of them have just been on uh, TikTok right now, but I have so much I can do. Oh, you've been watching the VODs? <laughs> I always wonder if, like, people, when they watch the VODs, if they just, like, watch the first couple of minutes, they're like, oh my god, this is so long. Because when I watch other people's VODs, I kind of just put it on in the background and listen and do other work. I'm not, like, I can't focus on one thing at once. Does that make sense? Like, I have to do, be, be doing multiple things, otherwise, I'll, I just get distracted too quickly. So... Thank you so much for watching my content and coming over here. I know it's a kind of a, a dip to go from YouTube to Twitch. I've actually been thinking recently of live streaming on YouTube instead of on here. Thank you, Detergent. Hi. I, I mean, YouTube is just like where all of my content is. And I kind of like having stuff on Twitch and on YouTube, but I just like... I don't have all of my like viewers or all of my uh, subscribers over here. So I feel like it would just be a lot easier to have it all on YouTube. So I've been thinking about that. I don't know. I don't know because I like having just the cross platform, you know, able to post on multiple places so I get more exposure. So I'm thinking about it. I don't know how to live stream on YouTube, but I'm figuring it's kind of the same as Twitch. Maybe I'll like switch off every now and then. I don't know. There are so many possibilities. The world is my oyster. Oyster. Did I do a close-up of my makeup? I don't think I did. Okay. Beware. My skin's actually gotten really better. Really better? A lot better. So it's not as broken out. But I'll, I'll get closer. Ta-da! Usually on Twitch most? Oh! Oh! So maybe... Maybe it's good to have just a lot of discovery for everyone. I can't put my jacket on all the way! Okay, uh... Uh, the game is loaded, so I'm going to switch you guys over to there. And I'm going to switch my category. Oh, and if you mm. haven't already, there is, um... A channel point redemption that's just one point and you can get a little check-in and get a flower and that flower kind of just shows how many times you've been to stream it's kind of like a, a a status without having to pay for us a, a subscription you know because in subscription it shows how long you've been subscribed for but this you can show like how many streams you've actually attended oh uh, thank you the deluke one i was actually I need to redo the Deluke one because I was really frustrated with the flame because I was trying to use different uh, mediums. So like I was using a uh, water activated liner, a cream eyeshadow and powder eyeshadow and just using all of them at once just didn't work out. So I need to redo that look. But a lot of people really liked it. It's usually the looks I don't like that much that people really like. <laughs> and then the ones that I like a lot, people are like, oh, Okay, they're like, oh, <laughs> okay, for me. <laughs> May fortune find you. Okay, I'm so, I've been waiting to do this because I, I knew I would make it in time because there are eight days, but I, I'm i gonna skip the pre pre prerequisite, prerequisite. I'm gonna skip the prerequisite because um, the prerequisite is just Yellen's quest. And last time I did a prerequisite, which was Kazuha's, I didn't really like it all that much. So, oh, I didn't even know Zhao was on here as well. I just knew about Alhaitham. Okay, let's try out our Burg 
um, no, how do I say that? Burgeon, <laughs> Bur burgeoning, burgeon. I know what to burgeon is. Bur, burgeoning, vegan. Oh, I I was wrong. Burgeoning begin to grow or increase rapidly, flourishing. Burgeoning. Hi, Caroline. Okay, I good because I didn't really want to do Yellen's. I unlocked it, but like, I'm not too interested in Yellen as a character, so it's not something I'm like dying to do. I I know I'll film it eventually. I have um, I still have like Hugh Tows. Who else? Alhaitham, Sinos. Tainaris. I have a whole bunch of the character quests still to do, and then like the the four star character quests. So sometimes I'd like the four star character quests more. You know, like the the just the hangout events. Isn't she so cute? Oh, she's adorable. How does she do her hair like that? Oh, she's a pole arm. Would not never have thought she was a pole arm. Let's see, my girl. Yow, yow. Pull arm user. They have her on deep wood memories. So, so little crit rate, but she's a healer, isn't she? I think she's a healer. Yow, yow, it's so cute. They have her, in oh, that's such a cute constellation. I think I told you guys, but I have a- I got a Chongyun constellation and I put it on my- It's a sticker, I put it on my computer and it's really cute. And I have my- my little Chongyun stand. <laughs> I am such a fan. You know, like when I'm a fan of stuff, I want to get physical uh, representations of that. So, I am definitely- a great target for advertisement. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get all adjusted. Here we go, here we go. Here, oh, here, 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 here. oh, I'm sorry if my game is kind of slow at some times. I don't know why it does that. I think it's because it's not on my... on my... C drive, it's on my D drive. And I... I don't know. Maybe it just ne needs needs an update. I love the, just having the bunny. Look at all of the bunnies. <laughs> it's so cute. And then and, oh oh it's so with Gooba. Ah, what is this? Oh, what did that do? What's her? Ah, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Surrendering will be gentle. I, I, can you make her a DPS? I feel like I would like her as a DPS. Cause I don't really need a healer. Kokomi's been like my main girl ever since I got her. But I like Yao Yao. She's so cute. Let's see if Alhaitham's worth it. Cause. I'm not gonna pull just for a four-star character, even though I really like the four-star character. Cause if I accidentally get the five-star, there goes my pity. And I've also been saving up a lot of wishes. So I have wishes on the um, limited banner stored up, but then I stopped purchasing wishes and it's just um, primos now because I added in a wish redemption to my channel points. So you can either redeem one or 10 and you can either do it on standard or limited. Yeah. That's what's going on. I also have this here still. It's just never gone. My Dia de los Muertos puppy. It just sits here at my desk all day long and stares at me. Dia de los Muertos. I've also been practicing my Spanish because going to be going to a spanish country soon a spanish-speaking country <laughs> clarification oh i didn't what are her are these her leveling up ingre ingredients is that what it's called ingredients because if it's if that's so that's nice 
Okay, I'll hide them. Oh, what is this? Sand grease poopa. Poopa. Who am I planning to pull next? I don't think I have any plans. Because I don't... I haven't been... I've been really good at avoiding spoilers recently. So I've... And I've unfollowed everyone who does spoilers. So I actually don't know what characters are coming up. Um, the characters that have already been released on those... Because the next one I was planning to get was Al Hytham. But I don't know who would be next. So the next one I would probably want is Sino. I, I missed him. I didn't have enough. Um, I considered getting uh, Ayaka a couple of times, but because I'm just such a steadfast Chong Yoon main, I don't think I would even use her. But uh, really, there isn't like a, a five star I'm dying to get. So I am here to pull for you guys, not for me. <laughs> I really love the way my eyelashes look right now. I'm sorry. I've been like looking at them. <laughs> I keep going. <laughs> oh, I'm giggly. I even have my glasses. I bet my lashes are too long to wear my glasses. A little bit. Is it so cute? They're just blue light glasses. They're not like actual prescription ones. I have prescription glasses, but I don't wear them. Okay, okay. What is... Sword. He is a sword guy. Light of foliar incision. Foliar? He's so cool. Stupid. So cool. So stupid cool. Gilded dreams. He's an elemental mastery dude. Is he? Oh, why would they do this? You would think they would just make it as good as possible. You wanted to pull for Zhao, but... Oh, I have Venti and Zhao, and I've actually been using Venti a lot more than Zhao. I don't know. I think it's... The the personality of Zhao, I mean not Zhao, of Venti that I like more. Zhao is really fun to play, but like, I like Venti's voice lines better. A bird! Ha! And 888. Performs five rapid strikes. Rushes forward, dealing dendro damage to nearby opponents when the rush ends, causing a chisel light mirror to form. Holding this skill will cause it to behave differently. Enters aiming mode to adjust the direction of Al Hytham's rush attack. Who else has a rush attack? This sounds familiar. Creates a particular binding field and deals multiple instances of AoE dendro damage. If chisel light mirrors exist when with, uh, uh, <laughs> all such mirrors will be consumed and increase the number of damage instances instead. Oh my goodness. Maybe he's too smart for me. He uses big words, doesn't he? He's your favorite character? Then save, 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 save for Venti. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what your normal is. Oh, you do a kick. Okay, oh wait. Oh, whoa, you can jump? That was a cool little jump. Where, where are they? But his, it takes so long to load. Defract. That was insanely cool. Oh. It's a 16 second cooldown? How did you do that? Oh, okay, hold down. <laughs> this is like... Oh, ow, dude. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but it keeps doing things I didn't... I didn't intend. Okay, wait. I need to do this for real. Hold on, Hilly Charles. Let me get my E. Wait. Stay there. Oh, and he's dying. Let the show begin. 
Okay, wait. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna pull for him. <laughs> I'm so susceptible. He's similar to Kaching. Do I have Kaching? I think I have Kaching. But I never use her. It does look a bit chaotic. I kind of like it. I, I just, I don't have any, many um, Dendro characters. So I kind of just want more. I don't like the Dendro Traveler. I don't think it's very interesting. The Dendro Traveler actually kind of reminds me of Kaya. So, mm. and then Kale, I don't want, I like Kale, but I don't want another bow user on my team. I usually just have one bow user. Cause what I have right now is, you know, I do one Claymore, one bow, one, what are you, sword, and one uh, catalyst. So I usually don't have multiple of the same weapon on the same team, and I usually don't have multiple of the same element. That's kind of just how I like to play. I know some people like to do all of the, um, the bonuses you get by having like the same elements on the team or whatever, but I just, I like having a versatility. Versatilita. <laughs> what was that? Okay, I see, I see, I have, a, I have a good amount of wishes saved up. Let's see, who, won? how many, what's my history? Okay, so I got, I have one pity. Should I? Should I not? Maybe I should wait. <sighs> Let's start the event, maybe, and then, you know, if I think of, I've already been thinking about it a lot, but, but, but... Someone needs to tell me no. Time flies so fast. Before you know it, Lanterite's almost here again. It already is here. Paimon. People in Lele must have already started. Beep, 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 beep. People of Lele must have already started. Bad. Hi. Tempting. Pull if you want. I, I'm so impulsive sometimes, so I've been learning to, like, give myself a pause before I actually... But, you know, usually I just give myself, like, a two-second pause. I'm like, oh, two seconds is better than nothing. <laughs> also, if any of you are interested, I posted the first part of this makeup tutorial on TikTok and Instagram. And those are both linked down below. I was reading recently, um, you know, like, sort of like marketing strategies to do social media. And a lot of them are like, make sure you always remind your viewers to like, subscribe, or follow. And I'm just like, oh, I usually don't do that. I usually wait until like the end of stream or my video to like ask people to do that. Because I feel uncomfortable asking somebody who's like just started the video, like this is their first video ever. And I'm like, follow me, subscribe to me. I feel uncomfortable Traveler. doing that, but Time I on. guess it's like it's been a, a reliable time. strategy. So if you're not already, maybe you should follow. Thank you. <laughs> Who are you? Hey, hey I don't remember her at all. Fancy meeting you here. How's work these days? Who is she? Thanks to the help of people like you and colleagues like Ganyu, better all the time. You see it twitching. <laughs> but I've been feeling. Ma'am, who are you? It's a long story. Are you with the the Kishin? But my father. He's thinking. <gasps> That's so What's wrong with Uncle Tian? Ooh. I'm sorry, lady. I don't know who you are, who uncle is, who any of these people are. Nothing. What is happening? Did he's I? not unwell. He mm. says he's always said old age comes for us all in the end. True. <sighs> Still, I just can't help but feel a little emotional watching it happen to him. I know. That's so sad. I mean, aging is beautiful and a, a gift, but it's also really sad. Anyway, my father's currently on the second floor of Yangsheng Tea House. Why don't you come pay him a visit with me? No, thank you. Why? Who? Why? He seems very fond of you, too. Do I'm we sure know chatting him? With sure. What? 
why are they trying to make me remember NPCs that maybe I had met once? Okay. Oh, cutscene. I'm on boats. We go say hi to Xiangling first. Yes. It's so beautiful. <gasps> Zhang Li, hello. Zhang Li, what, what is with that? No more. Why is he? He? I actually maybe I should wait and get Zhang Li. I. He always just shows up at inopportune times. Hello. But he always shows up at inopportune times, so like I've been pull I pull the character before him and then he's there and it's like ah I never get Zhang Li. Maybe I should I don't know, I don't really use Dun what are you Geo characters that much. But he is attractive. Oh, why the pleasure is all mine. As is the surprise, surely. I forgot what your voice sounded like. It must be fate that brings us together in this place. How have you fared as of late? Oh horribly. It's been a, it's been a wild ride, my dude. Why don't I have the option to say it's been horrible? Setbacks are inevitable over the course of a long journey. Thanks. If you wish to share what's troubling you, he is allow great. me to lend my ear. There is no need to shoulder all burdens by yourself. Oh, that is actually really good advice, Zhang Li. Who should I shoulder my burdens with? Who wants to share my shoulder? You are too kind. Ah, you have such beautiful eyes. So, Zhang Li, are you here to listen to stories over tea again? I had originally planned to set out after Look this last it. round of tea. Dumplings. However. What is this? Soup? However. Kiss? I had planned to take a walk to Chingsa village and gather some nascent bamboo shoots, which are currently in season. A villager there once gave me a small sample, and they possessed a most excellent flavor. Most excellent. Excellente. Okay, do you want me to get you some bamboo shoots? Are we gonna go on a walk together? Is this a date? Huh? Nice and bamboo shoots? Wait, hi, my nose! Because Zhang. Okay, Mr. Particular, let me Mr. guess. Mr. Particular? <laughs> The nascent bamboo shoot has a uniquely tender texture and a delicate sweet taste that its normal cousin cannot match. Unreasonably big words. Paimon, I feel like... How do you know this, Paimon? <laughs> An astute observation. Don't be Paimon. nice to Paimon. You know me well indeed. None of you are supposed to be nice to Paimon. Lantern right is almost upon us, but besides the bamboo shoots, there are a few other items what? I have not yet procured no. from Director Hu's list. I have made arrangements May for I the ask days if ahead. You have already made arrangements for the days ahead. I have. Um, gonna go see Kaya. Gonna invite him to Lantern Rite so we can watch the lanterns together. And you know, we'll be like watching the lanterns, and then subtly, an arm will slip over my shoulder, and I'll be like, Kaya. <laughs> And then Deluke will come along and he'll be like, what are you doing? Because Deluke just kind of like able to figure out a schedule, we ran into appears. You. Deluke is just there sometimes. And you're like, why are you? Why is it always Deluke? Why can't it be Kaya? Why is Deluke a five star? Why not Kaya? Well, They're then, brothers. Might I invite you to imagine the sheer delight that is a soup cooked with the freshest nascent bamboo shoots in all the land. Okay. Generous cuts of pork belly and Ooh, crisp, fragrant belly. bamboo shoots placed together in the pot. When I get bamboo in my ramen, I, I'm a picky person. I know this, and I've been trying to be a better picky eater. But when I get bamboo in bamboo shoots in my ramen, and it's like, it's like soggy. You know, I mean, I would expect bamboo to be crunchy. You know. But when it's in there and it's just like, it 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 tastes like a it, it's like a slug. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but it's like there's a whole slug in my ramen, and you know I'll try to pick it up with my chopsticks like I can never pick it up, so I usually just leave the bamboo shoots in there. But then I feel bad, you know, like when you're eating at a restaurant and then like you leave something on the plate, because then they're gonna pick up the plate and be like, why did they leave this one thing? And I know I shouldn't worry about what other people think, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to waste food because it's not like they can reuse this. 
Uh, struggles of being a picky eater, but also wanting to be a good person. <laughs> oh, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Well, why'd you do I your eye? Your Who are you? You just want to hoodwink us into fetching your bamboo for you. What is up with your eyes? Did my game glitch? Hmm? Why, I assure you, I would do no such thing. I merely wish to inform you of the freshest, most succulent and flavorful bamboo shoots one could ever hope to He's taste. communicating to me through my mind. His lips are not moving. You... No. See, look at her Let's eyes are go, back to Don't normal. What did her eyes do? She's just very excited. Oh, was that like a... A sparkle in her eye? It what freaked me out. Don't ever do that again, Paimon. Paimon has got to get her hands on some of that soup. I got my eye on you, Paimon. Such fine specimens are indeed well worth the excursion. Primo gem eyes. Very well. I shall leave the bamboo shoots to you. Wait, what? Should you have the good fortune to find some, please oh. share them with me as well. You cheap mother... Why are you always making me do stuff and making other people pay for stuff? Zhongli gets on my nerves so bad. However, there is no need to rush. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna come show up and be like, where are my bamboo shoots? And be like, I thought you said there was no rush. I'm gonna get them next year. That's what I'm gonna do next year. The streets of Liu will be bustling with visitors and filled with all manner of celebrations. I wonder the if there's year. a recipe for bamboo By all soup. Means. Go wherever your interests lead you. Bamboo soup. Bamboo soup spoon? Kang... Oh, no. Kang no mai? Kang no mai saya yanang. Also known as... Ge ge why is... <laughs> There's so many different... <laughs> different names for this one soup. <laughs> also known as Gang no mai. Gang no mai. Gang no no my kang no my kang no no my kang lao or lao bamboo soup <laughs> that's one two three four five six seven eight names for one soup it is a popular traditional soup from laos origin is laos how to make gang no my what does bamboo soup taste like the taste of bamboo is best described as sweet and refreshing. There's also a slightly tangy flavor to it, but also, but very subtle. Bamboo is a great substitute for water, chestnuts, and recipes that require something crunchy. Well, why is it whenever I get bamboo, it's not crunchy? Do they just like overcook my bamboo and turn it into slugs? The nascent bamboo shoots would be but a wonderful final touch to a most exceptional feast. Boy. What an Boy. honor it would be to savor them in the company of friends. Am I your friend? Did I just get friend zoned? We're heading out. Enjoy your walk, young Lee. Wait, he's not gonna walk with us? What? I thought this was a date. <laughs> Take care now, you two. Bite me. A thousand miles for it. Ed 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 oh my goodness, I can't speak. Egnig enigmatic. Egmatic. Enigmatic? Enigmatic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How do you say it? Enigmatic. And oh, I'm gonna go crazy if I can't say this word. Enigmatic. 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 I Goodness. To quiet the spirit why and calm my why are they actions. using big words? This is just a video game. The they shouldn't effective. be teaching me vocabulary. Ready to learn your vocabulary? Yes, Mom. I'll pull up the game now. The game? Well, yes, I learned my vocabulary on Genshin Impact. You know, if, you know like how sometimes somebody will ask, where did you learn that word from? And usually you say, oh, I read it. Well, I read it on a video game. <laughs> <laughs> Video game player. He was a pinball master. Done in, in his eyes. Pinball. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, you, 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 you. Die. Rude. Oh, I got it. 
It's always that. It's always this. It's always this teleport waypoint that gets you. Are these my enigmatic nascent nascent bamboo shoots? No, I want more. I want all the nascent bamboo shoots. Did you hear that? Someone's calling for help. It's coming from over there. Oh, do I have to? What? They got themselves into this situation. <gasps> Yao Yao! Hi! <gasps> we get to meet Yao Yao! A short, slender figure rescues the drown. Wait, I don't read it all. Are you okay? Did any water go down the wrong pipe? Oh, he's looking at my dress. <coughs> he's a bard. Venti? <laughs> I, uh, I think I'm okay now. Ooh, blue eyes. You... That was scary. Well, at least you're all right. All thanks to your savior here. Look at the bells. Oh, a little girl? She's so cute. Greetings, everyone. Is she actually a child, though? I hope she's it's actually a, a child and not like some 5,000-year-old in a, in a child's body. Whoa. She's so well made. Oh, look at their little ponytails. My name's Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Hi. <sighs> I'm Dvorak, D a musician from Fontaine. Dvorak. <gasps> Dvorak. Why can I say that word but not enigmatic? I came through Dvorak. Stone Gate, intending to head towards Liyue Harbor, but then I became captivated by the beautiful scenery, and before long, I was completely lost. I don't trust you. Is he from Fontaine? Just he looks now, like a Fontaine. I was Fontanian. so by the waterfall that I slipped and fell into the. It's all right, Mr. Dvorak. Dvorak? She's so cute. The splashing around the bottom of the waterfall. It is really so beautiful here. It's always wet and slippy. You definitely have to be careful. The braids that form a bow. I know. I'm going to learn how to do that. I would probably have to put like a uh, pipe. What are they? Pipe cleaners? You know, the the fuzzy bendy ones in my hair, like braided around that so then I could bend it. My hair is, I don't think it's long enough though. I've been growing my hair out though, so maybe eventually it'll be long enough. But also at the same time, when I want to grow my hair out, I also want to get a pixie cut. So it's those conflicting forces, long hair or pixie cut. Next it's no in between. Exploring an unfamiliar environment, try to focus on what's right as long as you watch your step. Accidents like this won't happen anymore are so adorable. Yes, ma'am. I understand. Look at the buddy. To be more what else is in there? Turnips? Hunger. I'm oh, hungry, too. Are you hungry, sir? Yes. Oh, uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just accept help when it's offered to you. That's what Zhang Li said. You don't need to burden your shoulders on your own. I don't... I think that was Please, exactly sir, right. It's quite all right. <laughs> I was born and raised here in Liyue. It's only natural for me to extend my hospitality to any guests who are passing through. I'm so happy she's here. I expect you still have quite a long journey ahead of you. It's very important. To I just want to know what this is. Is it a turnip? I it's a turnip with a bow. Flower crisps left in my backpack. Why don't we split them between the four of us? Ah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, she actually is a kid. Confirmation. A radish? Huh. I thought radishes were red. Maybe there are white mm, radishes. So tasty. If only there were more. It's like they've given Paimon an upgrade, you know, giving her giving giving her more animations and sparkly eyes. What are they preparing us for? Having a healthy appetite is a good thing. Maybe they have a it higher budget and they can growing. animate more. If I'd known I was gonna run into you, I would have made a second batch. Hope you're taking notes, traveler. What? This is how you treat your Paima. Then why don't you travel with her? What do you think, sir? Are Leo's snacks to your taste? I wonder if they're not sweet enough. He's gonna attack us. No, no, they're perfect. He's suspicious. When I was traveling through Mondstadt, I had a chance to try one of their moon pies. It had a meat filling unlike these crisps. <laughs> but apart from that, it seems like they follow a similar cooking process. Both are the delicious The crisps have a way. meat filling, sir? Are you okay? As for Fontaine's cooking, though. I knew it. He is <sighs> from Fontaine. Sounds like you spend a lot of... I do. It's he is a traveling bard. I'm one of the main organizers of the Iridescence Tour. 
Ooh, that's going to be important, the isn't it? Tour? That sounds... It doesn't ring a bell. The Iridescence Tour is one of the biggest music festivals in Fontaine. <gasps> They're getting us ready though. for Fontaine. Our aim is to hold so a many in hints every nation. and drops. They, like, didn't... I feel like they didn't do this for a lot of the other regions. They were kind of just like, here's Inazuma. Like, at the end of maybe the... I got the very end of the, um, oh my goodness. At the very end of the Leo White quest, they like kind of hinted at Inazuma's closed, but there weren't like a lot of references. Like Fontaine, we've been having so many traveling Fontaine salesmen and stuff. And we just keep, I guess Fontaine is maybe like a nomadic country or a nomadic, it consider, it, it, it elevates the nomad lifestyle because they seem to be everywhere. Or maybe it's a trick. Maybe they're spreading out so they can slowly take over the world. Like like the Fatui. Like the Fatui. The Fatui and the Fontaine are in alliance. At least Perhaps. all the main organizers share Maybe just school. throw out some... Throwing out a... Uh, oh my goodness, I've lost the word. It's when I try to speak a lot that I lose all my words. Theory. Throwing out the theory. <laughs> It's a long story, so I'll spare you the details. Yeah, thank you. Please don't tell but me anyway. anything. Well, what are they? Just Let me see. Well, to explain no. it in full, I'd have to start with a story no, from my I ancestors. Don't, I don't, if it's a cutscene, maybe, but I don't want to hear your life oh, story. I love listening to stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're too sweet. How dare you? Mm -hmm. we wanna hear it. Okay, then I'll start from the beginning. Uh -huh. The story goes that my ancestor... Who was also a traveler. I'm a traveler. He once slipped and fell into a lake during his travels. His? Is it my brother? As he was sinking and gasping Does my brother have breath, children? He heard a wondrous tune in the air. My brother has ancestors. Uh, my brother has childrens. That makes him an ancestor. They say it was I the most it. beautiful, moving melody he had ever heard. Ah. Uh, Even in that uh, life and death moment. The ethereal music Ariel? seized his full attention. When he finally came to, See, this he is found so that he beautiful. had already been brought ashore. Not too far from him stood an unfamiliar woman with an almost divine aura. Ningguan. Ningguan, maybe? Once she saw that he was no oh, wait, no, in danger, be in the past. she left without a word. Scrap that. Or, or, Ganyu. Ganyu is old. Or, or, or. The teapot lady? Is that the teapot lady? I'm just throwing out <laughs> random names now. My ancestor tried to run after her to give us thanks, but although a mere dozen paces separated them, no matter how quickly he gave chase, he drew no closer and remained a dozen paces behind. Or it's that lady that Zhang Li liked. In the end, all he could he do was died. to bow in thanks to the woman as he watched her walk away towards the rivers and mountains in the distance. Once Ghost. he returned to Fontaine, he began to learn an instrument. So that after generations of retelling, embellishing, and dramatizing, people have come to think of that lady as something like a fairy. A fairy. The story's become something a of a local legend in Fontaine. It's called the Lady Overlooking the Lake. Oh, they couldn't have used the Lady of the Lake. They had to use Overlooking the Lake. Is that a copyright? Is Lady of the Lake copyrighted? I don't. I wouldn't people think now so. People say that if you go down to the lakeside and play an instrument. So long as you play a pleasing melody, you will hear a fairy lady who is hiding out of sight, playing along with you. Cute. Wow. She reminds me of Klee. She kind of has the same mannerisms as Klee. You know, like, wow. I want to hear, mister. It's okay. Similar. Her and Klee would be such good friends because she could like heal whatever injuries Klee causes. Ah, perfect. They need to meet. Where's well, Alice? Yes. As it stands now, it's become a touch too romantic and detached from reality. What's wrong with that? Huh? But I understand the original story and its historical grounding, but I wanted to find out the truth of this tale. So I decided to retrace my ancestor's steps <laughs> and search a lot for less that lady's explosive. modern day descendants. Maybe she could help modify Klee's explosives because she's a healer. So she can be like, this will explode things, but it won't hurt anyone. It'll, it'll heal them. Exploding healing. 
Healing explosion. <laughs> Can you imagine if Klee was a healer instead of a DPS? <laughs> She's just like, you want to be healed? Here's a bomb. Of course, there's no way of knowing where my ancestor fell into the lake. Probably all right here. Ago. So I always, I've spent many years on the road now and I'm nowhere near as fit as I was in my youth. Mm. <sighs> the wish Healing that I've spent half my life chasing after has now become it's like a love bomb. <laughs> obsession. Love bombed. I haven't lived half of my life yet, but still, I understand how you must feel. I've lived half of mine. No, I haven't. Well, maybe. You never know. <laughs> I should too. stop. Positive thinking only. It's like... Positive mm, thinking only. Imagine if you saved the center of a lotus flower crisp. Which is the best part, by the way. Because you wanted to eat it another day. But it then suddenly, hurts. swoosh! Not like a headache, but like... Physically. Bangs are falling out. Never to be seen Hi, again. I will definitely remember that for the rest of her life. <laughs> There's no need to feel sorry for me. I've made ha, some progress ha, over the years. Ha, ha. For example, I've concluded that the story must have taken place in Liyue. Oh, so you finally found a lead? Didn't he already say it was in Liyue? Yes, in fact, that's an intriguing I just story in and of itself. Did that? I'd always known that Monsta is the city of song and freedom. Mm. But more recently, I heard that the animal Archon returned to Monsta for a festival in the fall and learned that he himself is a patron deity of music. Have people revealed Venti's secret form? I mean, it, it really isn't that secret, but it's the best kept, best kept a known secret. So I prayed for the Animal Archon's guidance in the Mondstadt Cathedral, and as soon as I set foot back outside the front gate, I noticed mm -hmm. a cluster Venti's of leaves playing matchmaker? being blown in the wind further Pajama and further boy. west towards Hi. Stone Gate. A friendly local told me that this meant the wind was guiding me in the direction of Liyue. So I followed their advice and made my way Follow here. Follow the wind. <laughs> Can you imagine if Venti was just like, ah. Get this guy out of here. Let's play the wind in that direction. Give him to Zhongli. He's Zhongli's problem now. It's been a while. It has been. Hello. 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 How are you? Right. You get it. I think it. Venti's playing a I trick. I find someone that agrees <laughs> with me eventually. Honestly, he's the god of freedom and tricksters. Hmm. Are you sure? It sounds a bit too much like one of those fake after legends this, told by those after treasure the quest? guys to Oh, oh, yeah. I, ha I, I just started it, so don't know anything yet. But I can't wait. To the world. I really want to pull for Yao Yao. <laughs> and a little more towards the travel fees, and I will pass your gift on to the Lord of Geo and ask him to keep you and your family safe and well, and so on and so on. Don't worry, Yao Yao. We, uh, She's just, her bunnies are so cute. It, deciphering only you're the bunny? Stuff. Hi, Alex. Hi. Oh, yeah. You can invite her. So, I mean, I also kind of want a hive them too, though. But there's another way. I mean, I can also get um constellation of Yao Yao. I know it's been a little bit of time. That's, stuff has been happening with the cats. Cats, plural. Two cats now. Oh my god, why? And anyway, you I really hope no, another one more, won't show up. Right? Two is the limit. No more. It's just, I have such a bleeding heart, you know? If a cat, if an animal shows up to me, I'm not just gonna turn it away. Obviously, I'll give it water and food. But then by doing that, I kind of is like, okay, I'll stick around now. This is a pretty good place. And they really do just stick around. <laughs> Maybe it's because I radiate animal love energy i don't know i've always just had a good connection with animals though maybe it's my superpower to to attract animals oh maybe i should just get a farm <laughs> i can get a farm and then whatever animal shows up i'll have space for them and then i'll get like a whole bunch of assistants to take care of the animals the only problem is like when you have multiple animals i get I get upset about like how much time I'm spending with each of them because I want to be able to like give each of them the proper amount of time. But then as more animals show up, then each animal gets less time, you know? 
and that gives me anxiety. I'm like, oh my god, what if this animal thinks I'm not spending enough time with it and I prefer this animal over that animal? Why? Why does this happen to me? They like their alone time? You would think. You would think. Because this new cat, I ca I'm calling her little one, she is a monster. <laughs> she, okay, so I didn't know cats could do this, but she is a yeller, so her meow is kind of like a, so it's like really soft and gentle, but then like if you're walking away from her, she'll just go, like really long and loud, and she'll go, a lot and she's definitely a cuddler like she'll climb up onto your lap and because i have uh bangs and i'm growing out my bangs when i look down at her she always wants to bat my bangs and because i'm extremely allergic to cats i can't let her touch my face i usually like wear basically a hazmat suit to go outside and be with the cats so like she'll just find any piece of skin she can to like get me allergic Ugh, it's i love her but it's a lot <laughs> actually to express my gratitude, I did spend rather a lot of more on several bottles of fine wine. You were just I expressing your gratitude. Oh, he left it at the statues. That's nice. Venti's probably just walking along and be like, ah! Wine? Para mi? Oh dear. Well, how about this, ladies and gentlemen? Why don't I bring you all to Yujing Terrace? How do you know everyone, Yao Yao? Yao Yao has connections. Who's her? I no very many people, her people, parents. So I can't help you out much, but Miss Ganyu and the Chi Sing know. I don't think we've met everything. any characters who have like children, you know, like we know about Alice, but we haven't met Alice. But do we know any characters who have children? When are we gonna have characters who are moms or dads or grandparents? Huh? Where is the family dynamic? If you we've seen hands, siblings, you get but no parents. Back. And if the wind was telling oh, the guess, truth, and you I wanted to eyes. keep looking for that lady's family, they'll be the best people to ask. <laughs> oh, she's a neglectful parent, then, if she's a parent. <laughs> oh, poor the wanderer. Poor baby. Yeah, but I guess you've already Diana's so father much. isn't playable, though. Like, what if we had a team? We could Why make a team composition of family members. And plants I picked to miss on you anyway, so it's no trouble at all. You know what? It's been a minute since I we missed saw on you. Too. It should be nice to pick. All right. Well, my sincere. Th okay, everyone. Please follow me. <laughs> I'll be your guy. Uh oh. Paimon's out of a job. Bye, Paimon. <laughs> Yao Yao's my new well, traveler I'll just be a companion. Instead. I don't need a cheerleader. I'm my own cheerleader. Go tie. Oh, I guess that's like chosen family. He doesn't have a father. I mean, what? He doesn't have a vision. Let's see, let's see. Trembling earth, defeat all opponents. No thanks. I mean, I guess they're all kind of young. Yeah, yay, yeah, yeah, she's a god kind of a kitsune she could have a child potentially and when are we gonna have another collaboration i feel like this collaboration was kind of just like random and we haven't had another one since like there are we why haven't they had a collaboration with like their honkai impact because those are kind of like in the same style and it's their their licensing so they should do more collaborations because otherwise without a collaboration this just looks so odd like poor alloy she's just like here just hanging out and yeah they should do collaborations with like animes and stuff because this is like an anime game add me to your team genshin impact i have so many good ideas but no money <laughs> No money to put those ideas into place. They put Genshin in care. Oh, isn't there a new Honkai Impact game coming out too? It's like Star Rail or something. I signed up for the beta of that, so hoping to see what how that goes. I didn't realize it was a a Hoyoverse game at first when I had signed up for it because I just like the art, but. Mm -hmm. Yay! 
I know. I need more collabs. There are just like so many great options for collaborations. But I guess it costs money. Do they have to buy the licensing to use the character? Like, do they have to renew it each year? That's just like... Oh my god, is that a puppy? Oh, it's a full-size dog. From far away, it looked like a little tiny puppy. I don't have any commercial goods. Kanyu, donde esta? Como te llama? What is your name? Wow, Liwe Harbor looks very different from when I came last. How old are you, dude? Is this guy like a god? Is he, is he like his ancestor? It's almost as if I'm listening to the same melody, but with a richer timbre and new variations added. I'm very suspicious of you. Well, we are here during Lantern Ride after all. It only comes once it it's fair to say that this time of year is when Liwe Harbor looks the prettiest. Yeah. What is your guys' favorite city? I always use Mondstadt as like right. my home city, Let's like when I'm gonna log out. out. But I think the city I like the design of the most might be Liyue, because I really like the water features. I I like water features, okay? If I, made, if I built my own house, I'm adding a, a river and a lake and a pond and a waterfall. I can't wait to get into the city <laughs> but and look see at it how all up beautiful close for it is. I really like the architecture. I didn't think I was an architecture sort of person, but then once I went to Japan, I really liked like their 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 older architecture cuz here the sort of architecture we have is just like what are they called skyscrapers and then like i guess i'm just used to the way the houses are built here but like going to japan it was like a lot different so i just i really liked observing their architecture i think i would really like going to china and seeing their architecture it's not like i like learning the history of it so much as i just like looking at it <laughs> oh yeah they haven't had a wind rise event oh wait no what was the event that was in was it Windrise and Mondstadt? It was like in in the first uh first couple of updates of the game and they hadn't had it again. Mondstadt's too. I also haven't been to Europe. I feel like I really want to see castles. We have one castle here. Windbloom, yes. That's what it was. They haven't had that in I don't think they've done it again. The streets are breathtaking. Smiles Why am I and laughter standing like that? I look. Oh, it's contagious. Here, Dor. I can Dra almost feel the music in the what air. What was your name again? I have the urge to start waving my conductor's baton. Dude, come. <laughs> I'm glad that you're enjoying the city. Walk faster. Come on. Sprint. Sprint. <laughs> Was playing at that time, but I wasn't. Hi, everyone. A fancy you I didn't understand here. what well, events were, surprise. so I also at that time I was only playing when I was recording, so I missed a lot of like events. But now I just play whenever, so I don't miss events anymore, unless I have like stuff going on. Hello, Shenyan. Let me introduce some new friends. Oh, she's already we knows are. me. We're best friends. We've gone on a lot of adventures together. Traveler Paimon and Mr. Dvorak, right? Dvorak, that's what it was. <laughs> I've known them all for quite a while. Oh, poor Yao Yao. She's like, look at meet my new friends, and Shinyan's like, they were my friends for longer. <laughs> it's not a contest. <laughs> when I was last year to advertise a Lee West stop for the iridescence tour. Shin Yen was one of the few people willing to give me the time of day. Cute. Feels like I've been chasing She's this my favorite bandwagon woman. halfway around the world. But Hi, I keep T. Getting stood up. What's on my cheeks? What's oh, going so. On, Mr. One second. Okay, so I have a channel point redemption that allows people to choose a makeup look for me because I really like doing makeup and I do a lot of makeup content. So this was a channel point request and it was a. Uh, Supposed to be inspired by Sino from this game, Genshin Impact. So I kind of did like the swirls, like his, you know, his wrappings. 
his, his, the wrappings that he has that like have all the lettering on it so I did that so it's like the colors are for his kind of color scheme and then like I referenced his ability so that's what it is this is the makeup look for him uh, I do I'm like a ton so of makeup sorry, looks Shanian. on uh, for like streaming and off stream recently, and every time we've tried to put on a inspired show, by many characters and many different things from materializing is that right? Yeah, I'm right. Mm, I, I still can't, can't believe helped. she has a Western accent. So, what brings you to Leoy Harbor at this time of year, anyway? Thinking of putting on a music festival during the Lantern Rite celebrations? Did I talk too fast? Do I have an accent? But anyways, it's just inspired by uh, Sino from this game. My makeup looks are usually inspired by characters. A Lantern Rite music festival? Yes. No, uh, I'm actually here on personal business this time. Oh yeah, he's looking for the Lady of the Lake, but it was a different term. Lady overseeing the lake? Oh, so no Lantern Rat Music Festival? Why don't you do it yourself, Xinyan? You are the b best, best lady. I mean, that's not just up to me. Hosting a music festival takes a lot of funding and personnel. Moreover, I've never worked with the Liwei authorities before. We'll do an Even illegal if I were music to start festival. Something together right now, I think it'd be Am I rushed. southern? Do I have a southern accent? No, do I? I didn't even think I had an accent. I know sometimes I fall into accents accidentally. I'm having like a crisis. I mean, I'm from... Yeah, maybe it's just the regular American accent. I, 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 how would I have gotten a Western accent? <laughs> Where did it come from? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Wait, but we're going to meet them. Like, and they're the ones in charge. Uh -huh, that's right. Miss Kuching and Miss Ningguang can make anything happen. Dude, how many people do you know, Yao Yao? Mm. What? <laughs> this is the she knows the whole city. Well, sure, it might not work out, but it can't hurt to bring it up as a suggestion. Would be a huge That's hit. That's the spirit. See, even the I heard that um, Mr. Dvorak, when they do the performance, be put off by the fact to that listen to it in Chinese, recently. they said the Chinese was the best of the performance but in the english uh dub they said it didn't really match the music right so maybe i i probably would just watch it on youtube to see the chinese uh performance of it versus the english dub oh yeah i mean i can see that there is like a really large mix of people where I live, you know, like from different cultures. Um, I am from America. I am an American. <laughs> I'm from the islands. I'm from Hawaii. So there's just like a ton of different people here. It's very diverse. So I can see that I could pick up different ways to pronounce different words so i get it as for the performers i can put you in touch with some local artists local artists my friend yunjin is a well-known opera singer in liyue with how are you gonna mesh the opera, opera we should be able to get rock. something going opera rock a new genre of music but what about you Shinya? rock opera you that sounds better this one out? <laughs> what do you take me? If we actually manage to make the iridescence to our Lantern Rock right Grand Concert a reality, you think I'd let anyone else perform the opening act? I believe in you. Wow! There's that rock and roll. What do you say, Mr. Dvorak? I'm down. Hmm. Oh, but the opening act is not something to be chosen lightly, Shinyan. You can't just say she's not going to be the opening act. So she's the one sure who's proposing this whole idea, and you're going to take opening act away from her? <laughs> what? <laughs> of course we have the internet here. I mean, we're part of America. <laughs> so America... 
America! Yes, we got internet here. It's not the best internet though because we don't have any servers here. So like all of our internet is routed through California. So that's why it's probably slower than a lot of you experience. Like when I play Valorant, I have to play on, oh. <laughs> well, sometimes people talk to me seriously like that. They're like, you guys have high schools there and you don't just like learn in a hut. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I just take things literally, okay? Hehe. <laughs> and I forgot what I was talking about before. But anyways, ah! are you kidding? I thought you'd never ask. Doorbox drip. I know all of the people from Fontaine have like really cool outfits, and they're very like techni technologically advanced. So, what is Fontaine based off of again? I forgot what country or culture Fontaine was supposed to be based off of, but I'm excited for it. <laughs> Guess my shopping time's getting cut short. I'm gonna head back right away and start working on this. France. Oh, France. I, did you guys see Emily in Paris? Yeah. <laughs> I just if finished that recently. Chishing, please send her my regards. I'm really scared to actually go to France. I don't think people would like me in France. Okay. I promise I will. Good luck with your music, Shinyan. I would you definitely look like a tourist there. So about the senior of yours Shinya mentioned just now. Is that anyone we know? Seen Yes, hey child. She's mentioned you two before. Shaoling's always thinking about cooking. Oh, whenever she gets scared, I got Zhen Yan and Zhongli mixed up. I was like, didn't we just talk to <laughs> her? She definitely needs someone around her to look after her. I know you must have looked out for her a lot too in the time you've known her. Shaoling, so, thank you for that. Oh, is she thanking me for looking out for Zhongling? Where am I going? Oh, the way up there. I just... The thing I think I like about Liyue most is there are a lot more character interactions in Liyue. You know, like, a lot more of the characters know each other and they interact with each other and we get events with them all together. Whereas, you know, the other places, it doesn't really seem that way. Uh, Mondstadt, they kind of have that, but I feel like Liyue is like the most interconnected. They just did um, an event in Inazuma where we, the different characters uh, interacted with each other more. It was like the, the cur test of courage. I thought that was interesting, but they kind of acted like they didn't oh, know each other, Master. some of them. So, is it okay if I go and say hi to her? Yeah, I like how close everyone is in Leo. It makes it feel more immersive, you know? Oh, calm down now, dear. My I'm not Madam about to run King. off anywhere. Not I haven't seen you in days, Master. I've missed you. Aww. Oh, bless you, Yao Yao. You do say the sweetest things. She is the sweetest baby. Ah, look who it is. Visiting friends during the lantern ride, are we? Hi, Madame Ping. You're What's up, up? Madame Ping? We were also trying to oh, help Mr. I've been saying Madame. We were on our way to take him to see the Chishing. Uh, hello, ma'am. Hello. I am a musician from Fontaine. Master, master, the iridescent tour is a super fix. Oh, an old lady like me wouldn't know. Oh, right. You're an elder of Liyue, and you Jeez. know all about Liyue's cultural traditions. What are they called? Are your thoughts would an adaptus. Isn't she an adaptus? For example, <laughs> she's is just it staring at us like. A bit too modern, or is there any other issue? <laughs> Why not at all? Uh -huh. Music pays homage to history and culture. And it can I also love be Madame Ping. She's so sweet. And she works with Yan Fei. <laughs> what? <laughs> Times change, and the music enjoyed by the youngsters of today is no doubt very. And so. Youngsters. I look Those are the whippersnappers and their crazy music. Here, here. I do believe that, my own dear grandmother aside, you are the wisest old lady I've ever met. You don't tell someone they're an old lady to their face, even if they know they're an old lady. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> you're all being suspiciously sweet. Master, you're in such a great mood today. You're even cracking jokes with the rest of us. Oh, well. I'm sure you must have plenty to be getting on with, yes? Yes, ma'am. 
Let us run along. Here we go. Off we go. Head near Eugen Terrace to look for Ganyu. Look at all the fireworks. Yoimiya would love it here. Yoimiya would have a blast. We got a Yoimiya and Klee interaction in Inazuma, but I just... Yoimiya is one of my favorite characters. She's just so nice, so sweet, and so positive. I really like the positive characters, but I think I relate to the negative characters more. <laughs> On you. Look at this is where Rex Lapis threw his dead body. His artificial body, I guess. I I feel like if I lived in Liyue, I would be totally traumatized by that and I would never want to go back up to the terrace. Like can you imagine? This is where my god died. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is the best compliment I've ever gotten in the world. I'm gonna savor that for the rest of my life. I feel like Yoimiya is definitely the personality I bring forth the most when I'm doing sort of content. But like in my everyday life, like doing this takes a lot of energy from me. So if I were able to maintain this energy like 24 seven, I feel like I would be more like Yoimiya, but it's more just what I'm putting forth <sighs> that energy that I'm able to be like her. Otherwise I'm pretty, I'm pretty exhausted. But that is so nice, thank you. This is so beautiful. And when you meet with the Ministry of Civil How Affairs, that? please remind them that the festivities are not an excuse to procrastinate their work. Understood, Miss Ganyu. Miss I'll Ganyu. take my leave now. Bye, bye, Zhao. Bye, Zhao. I like all the different names Ganyu. they use. It's very diverse. It exposes me to a lot of names I wouldn't have heard otherwise. What brings you here, Yao Yao? I brought all the medicine you asked me to pick for you. Oh, and here's a pack of sweet flower seeds as well. Look at the bunny. I should find like a sewing tutorial for the bunny. That is so freaking cute. Uh, also, I'm here with the rabbit, also, by the way. These dried what year are you guys? Make a great pot of tea that's very good for you. You know, something really funny happened recently. Uh, me and my friend were both year of the rabbit. And we were talking to like these people at a, a store. And we had mentioned it. And all of a sudden they're like, you're year of the rabbit? I'm Year of the Rabbit, and every single person in the store, there were just four of us, but all of us, we were Year of the Rabbit, and it's just like, what a coink -a dink How, how I cool, all of us are Year of the Rabbit. Recently, but you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you're not careful, you'll end up falling asleep in the grass again. Oh yeah, gone use fun and sleep well, everywhere. this is weird. It's like a responsible younger sister talking to their disorganized older sister. Love it. Uh, um. You hear the rat? <laughs> Wait, what? What? What traits does Year of the Rat have? I know. When I heard that the year after me was Year of the Dragon, I was like, "Are you serious?" Because before me is Tiger, and after me is Dragon. So for a long time, I had a complex about that. I was like, "Why am I the Year of the Rabbit when these two people are so much cooler than me?" But you know what? You know what? Now I like being Year of the Rabbit because bunnies are cute. And so am I. <laughs> yeah, don't run your mouth, Paimon. Thank you, but Paimon's criticism is quite valid. Yay, I do yeah, have a tendency to neglect matters outside of work. Oh, my apologies. I mean, at least I you're not Year of the we've Pig. Been introduced. Of, I mean, it depends on how they say it because sometimes, you know, they'll say Year of the Pig or you're, you're the Boar. Or, you know, Year of the Ram, or Year of the Sheep. So, I guess it's, it all depends on perspective. But Year of the Rat, do they have a, a Year of the Rodent, maybe? Year of the Mouse? Eh? Eh? Positive spin? Ah! Hi, Mom will do the honors! Oh my... Her eyes are beautiful. Purple and red? That's like my dream to have purple and red eyes. What's wrong? If I might go over, it's definitely an ambitious plan. Please, Ganyu, can we have a music like festival? Uh, it may be. Oh? 
Paimon, what did you expect? You'd be like, oh yeah, perfect. Let's have a music festival well, right now. The Lantern Rite is the most important festival of the year. Our celebrations must not only the iridescence tour is relatively unknown in Liyue. Well, it's we'll just invite everyone from Liyue to to perform. It would be quite risky for us to bet everything on this one music festival. Just say Yunjin and Jinyan are performing, and everyone's gonna be like, Yunjin. Everyone loves Yunjin here. Everyone be ecstatic to see Yunjin perform. I don't know how popular Jinyan is in Liyue. I know she was invited to Inazuma to do stuff, but I don't know about here. But I would think she's popular, right? I mean, I think it's because of her music style that the people in Liyue are like, rock versus opera. But if you combine it, rock opera, opera rock, just saying. <sighs> All very valid points. Therefore, we will not replace or cancel any of our pre-existing program. However, I will submit a proposal requesting to put the Iridescence Tour special performance as the <gasps> final act of this year's festivities. That's a plan, Ganyu. So live music will certainly add to the festive atmosphere You're on so the night smart. of the Lantern right? As for the venue... You're yes, the smartest lady my thoughts in the precisely. world. Now I just need to take some time to give this proposal some- As long as I clearly lay out the pros and cons, and highlight the key points of the proposal, given that Mr. Dvorak, mm -hmm. I will need to discuss with you the number of musicians yeah, yeah. who will be coming to Liyue. I didn't look well at what Yayo's constellations do. Oh, yes, certainly. But usually the four-star constellations the are really further. good. I feel like only people who wail or like as save up for one character forever are able to get constellations on five star characters. Like I got really lucky of getting a constellation on Kazuha, but he's my only constellation of a five star character I have that isn't a standard, you know? I, I don't understand more. how some people have like C6 Zhao. Master once said that everyone has things that they are like, good, good at for you. and things that they are less good at. So but with that in mind, Ganyu shouldn't feel compelled to become perfect at absolutely everything. But she's a perfectionist. You have C0 Yao Yao. <laughs> I think I have... I have constellations on Jinyan, I think. I'm taking care of people, so... Wow. Hey, Yao Yao, can you take care of Paimon too? Paimon's getting hungry again. Oh, my goodness, Paimon. Why don't you carry snacks? Like, that's something I had to learn to do, because I didn't realize I got hangry, like, terribly. I just thought I was in a bad mood. But then once I correlated with it with food, I learned to start carrying snacks with me everywhere. Like, <laughs> in Japan, I had to, like, find snacks all the time. You know, I'd be stuffing onigiri in my backpack or getting like a whole bunch of chips and bread so i'd always be able to just pull out a snack oh, it was a good lesson to learn because otherwise oh my goodness i was a monster when i was hungry hanger my backpack's empty now <laughs> but if you let me know what you like i can bring you some of your favorite dishes next time we meet uh, you're so apart from lotus cute. flower crisps what else do you like anything Ev sweet yeah she and likes everything <laughs> are slime <laughs> sentient here's what no this is excellent i'm rocking my perfect mm -hmm. then we'll leave it as is i'll go make an official copy Oh, you perfect are timing. A goddess. We were just rep. Not at all. Every second counts for a complex. Per Yao Yao, thank you for bringing my herbs. I will remember to make tea from them first, Ganyu. You mustn't just chew them raw. Yeah, she just will chew flowers. Uh, I, uh, I will. Isn't she a goat? Ganyu's a goat. Okay, I should be getting back. If Yao Yao stays out for too long, Mom and Dad will be worried sick. <gasps> Can we meet your parents, Yao Yao? Everyone, I'm sure that the music festival will go off without a hitch, so don't worry. Her boots are so and in case cute. I, don't see you before, I, I really like the shoes some of these characters wear. Right. You got a glitch? What glitch? Thank were you, you able to Yao get Yao. your character? Were you able to get Happy Yao Yao? Lantern right to you, too. We should go get dinner together. 
My TikTok has been glitching. Stay put and wait for two hours. As I was saying, my TikTok has been glitching recently. I had a really cool transition video with dyeing my hair. And it glitched. 17, 18. Is that two hours? Uh, oh. I didn't... I didn't know that happened. I am here. Show me the music festival. Greetings, no, traveler. Yeah. Oh, Kuching! And Mr. Dvorak. Hello, lady. Call me Kuching. Ganyu has brought me up to speed on everything. I'll get straight to the point. So, you are so beautiful to me. The Chishin have approved see? Ganyu's proposal. Over the next few days, I will be working. Yay! That's awesome! <laughs> Please. The Qixing have a duty to deal with matters such as these. We have merely moved things forward to the next step. Purple hair is amazing. Purple hair is the prerequisite to be amazing. On a more personal note, Purple is the I best am an color. avid supporter of all things new and innovative. As such, it is my privilege purple to work eyes, with you on this exciting purple project. Hair, purple clothes, purple shoes, Thank purple you so accessories. Much for Purple. Are her earrings purple? I'd become quite discouraged after our recent failures and purple was expecting vision. the same outcome once again. So I don't think I would I be an electro character, though. What would be my vision? I know I would like a cryo, cryo, cryo vision, because I like cryo characters the most. But... Hmm... Maybe I would have an electro vision. Interesting. I have to think about that. Who would give me a vision? I definitely. Oh, maybe. I, maybe Geo, because of Noel. We don't really know why characters get pyro or cryo yet. I mean, we have theories. I mean, I guess all of them are kind of theories on how they're chosen for a vision. Animal is your favorite element? Mm hmm. <sighs> Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined this going so soon. I hope eventually they put out like it's official like reasons why some people get their vision. Right. Time for me to call in the performers. To stage a concert at a high profile event like this is a rare opportunity. We'll make. Yes! Our music band's finally getting fired up! Music yes, man. Yes, indeed. I know exactly Play what I'm doing from here. Music man. For a musician, music will always be the language they are most fluent in. What about the fairy? Oh, that. Well, that can wait for another time. Yeah, he's like, fairy lady. <laughs> oh. Ganyu? That's wrong. Ganyu's a fairy lady, isn't she? I knew it. I called it. Didn't I say that? I said that, didn't I? Didn't I? They told me all about Mr. Dvorak's situation, but I... Oh, that's... Quite all right. I I don't even know what the person I'm trying to find looks like, so it was always going to Dendro be a long shot. Dendro goes to like smart people, inquisitive people, right? Or does she just give it to anyone? I feel like Nahida would just be like, "You want a vision? Here's a vision." She's so nice and isolated. I feel like she would, yeah, care about people a lot. But Dendro is the city of knowledge, so I feel like it'd be people who seek knowledge who would get a Dendro vision. Which I don't think is me. But don't worry about me, Ganyu. Uh, your time and energy are... Thanks. It was just that I had a few initial thoughts when I heard your story. And then that's this. I knew it. I wonder if this I knew lady it was an ancestor to tell you the truth, Mr. Dvorak. For passionate Dvorak, people? Ooh, maybe I, I would be proud. I am somewhat related to the Adepti myself. Pyro. I, am, I know how important your quest to get in touch with your roots must... Did you say the Adepti? Mm. And your illuminated beast? Part Chilin? Yeah, what of it? Are you telling me all the rumors of the Li Yue Adepti are real? So it's not just artistic license? Oh, poor sir. All of it is unfortunately real. Including the Cocoa Goat. You bet they're real! Trying to track them down is tough, though. Like Julian Karst itself. There's nothing Did you hear my specifically stomach? stopping you from going there, but getting in and out of it? Yes. Anyway... If you're looking Why to she uncover looks sad. a lost melody or shine, but if it's a person you're looking for, then I just might be able to help. 
Do it. I see. It's I the think I understand the lady. situation now. Madam In Ping. That case, Ganyu, shall we divide the work between us? I feel like Madam Ping is connected somehow, because why did we go talk to her otherwise? And when are we gonna give Zhang Li his bamboo? Did we forget about that? Yes. That was also my thought. Great. So Mr. Dvorak and I will concentrate on things here in the city to make sure the concert goes according to plan. How's your workload at the moment? I can probably get through everything in two days. As long as I don't sleep. Honey. Honey girl, no. Wait, what do you mean as long as I don't sleep? ka -ching, take care of her. Give her some melatonin. Even for someone with illuminated beast blood in their veins, working for such an extended period without a break will- Somehow that does not sound persuasive coming from ka -ching. <laughs> Yeah, ka -ching works just as hard. Be it but three moons from the start, he who returns is not he that departs. What? Be it but three moons from the start. Okay, three months from the start. He who returns is not that... Is not he that depart. He who returns is not... What is the message here? <laughs> Even I know the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Did that make sense to anyone? What? Be it three moons from the start, he who or what does not depart? In that case, three days. What? All right, I can work with that. <laughs> it if doesn't you make have the sense. Time, Maybe it's an ancient proverb. Search? You're well known to many of the adepti and respected among the people. Don't worry, I'll go I'll find Zhao. Much more at ease with Zhao. Your I got some. Okay, then let's meet back tofu. here in three days. Watch this space, Mr. Dvorak. We'll get. You're all so helpful and kind. I, I really, I just. <sighs> it's so deep. None of us can understand it because we're not on that deep of a level. Just think. Imagine if we found the adeptus lady or one of her descendants and got them to come to the performance. Wouldn't that be amazing? Amazing, spectacular, gorgeous, lovely. It'd be such a happy reunion. And that's exactly- You're right. Okay, I'm gonna pull Got out it. all the stops to make this lantern Got ride a true it. extravaganza. Got it. We should probably get going. Mr. Dvorak, could you come with me to confirm the feather. site? Ooh, we're coming to you! No. I don't want to. I was wondering, what are your thoughts on music? I love music. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? Entertainment. Communication, expression. Music is the melody of life. Eh? Music is the way those who cannot communicate manage to find their voice. Oh, that was a good one! Uh, music sounds nice? You're not on my level, Paimon. <laughs> Truth be told. A question of what know. music means to Ooh, people that's is one beautiful. That I need for that for my teapot. Right this Let's instant. This question after the concert. That would be perfect for my teapot. Lady Yu Hong. Who are you, Bai Wen? Bai Wen, what is it? Run away. Her Lady Ningguang's orders. I've been gathering intelligence outside of the city with the goal of uncover. I am told that a strange melody was heard somewhere along the coast. Uh, I was wary of investigating further uh, on my own, so I was just on my way to report this incident to Lady Ningguang. But I'm worried that if we don't act, I understand. In that case, I. Oh, both at the same time. We're like. You wanna hold hands? Yeah, Kuching. You're busy enough as it is. We got There's it. There's a time of dust. Don't worry. With Paimon, you do not got it. Case, I got it. It's as good as dealt with. Thank you, but I still require payment. That's thirty-nine thousand dollars. You can pay in uh, what is it when you pay in quarters? You can pay with interest, I guess. Thank you. This will be a great help. I will inform Lady Ningguang about the situation. Once it's resolved, you can pay in primos. Find me again Thir at Eugene Terrace and let me know. Thirty-nine thousand dollar primos. Do. And say hi to Ningguang for us. Thirty-nine thousand dollars worth of primos. That's right. 
because 39,000, where did I come up with that number? I don't know. Divide it by 100. $100 gets you like 50 wishes. Math it. You have my thanks too. <gasps> that's gorgeous. Stay safe and come back shot. as soon as you're finished. Wait, that's a perfect screenshot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I love taking screenshots of my my videos for for cover photos. It's perfect. Good luck. Sometimes I get really funny, funny photos. <laughs> it's all about timing. You gotta find that. Look at how beautiful. I want this right now. Who is the firebird? Firebird. Oh my goodness. It is a firebird. Where is by one? Oh my goodness, all the way over there. Bye, Wen, I'm coming over. <laughs> While watching this, I can't figure out how to put these on right. There we go. Uh, hover on the nose. Perfect. Perfecto. Hi, Zhongli. I got your bamboo. And it's all mine. It's all my boar. Revenge. <laughs> A sweet taste of revenge. Hello? Wasn't there three pieces of meat? The only one. Up, up, up we go. Oh, Sealy, donde esta? Sealy, where are you? I'm coming to find you. You can't hide from me. Where are you? Sealy, there you are. Thought you could escape me, huh? Thought you could hide all the way up there? I thought you were sneaky. Up, up and away. Where'd you go? You can't escape me. How'd you get up so high? Come down here. Oi, oi. Wait. Was that the one I saw? Oh, I guess it is. I didn't remember it being this high. Ooh, let me open it. Mm. Now you're doing it live. Oh, oopsies. Thank you, Kokomi. How am I going to recreate the flavor? I get it. I'll do that later. Thousand miles for enigmatic tune. Boop, boop. Aha. Let's hear it. Byron said the strange tune was coming <gasps> from around here, right? Fox. But Byron doesn't hear anything. You gotta listen. I was just wondering <gasps> how her right mind would come out to a place like this. Don't sneak so, up on me like that. That's you two. Yellen. Yelon? Oh, <gasps> Yelon. How'd you sneak up on us like that? You nearly gave Paimon a heart attack. You look pretty alive to me. <gasps> their eyes are so bad. beautiful. I'm paying attention to all of their eyes recently. They're like calling out to me. They're speaking to me. Ah, you're here for that too? Saves me a bit of explaining. Is it you? No, it can't be you. Come with me. I've already reconned the perimeter, so we should... I guess we're traveling with Yellen now. We're getting a, a piece of the story with every character. Yippee! Hello, investigate trail. The stuff by the door is impr- Rock. 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 
rock chest. Hmm. Objects like this may prove useful when purging evil spirits. It's very useful. Am I breaking into a house here? I guess we're breaking into an empty house. The doors and windows are all... Yellen. What's up with this house? Hmm. Thought the bad guys could have sneaked in while the old... Seems you've done a pretty thorough inspection. So, any theories on what might have happened here? No, because I was not paying attention. Daylon, you didn't hide some of... Why would I make this more difficult for you? We're on the same side here. Are we? Huh? Okay, well... What about you? Give up as well? Don't talk to me like that. Your instincts are pretty good. Hmm. Or perhaps it's not instinct. Hey, 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 hey. This strange melody is one of the few pieces of information you have available after Just all. Just call me smart. Let me share I'm a folk smart. story with you. No. A long time ago, oh. there used to be a group of bandits in the... But it wasn't a rallying cry to rouse their fellow men. It was a discon... To escape with their lives, the villagers would abandon their homes and flee overnight. The bandits were eventually brought to justice. Whenever they heard that melody, they would feel like their lives were in danger once again and flee immediately. Have you guys seen the, the new Black Panther movie? Wakanda Forever? It reminds me of the song the, um, the underwater people sang and then the people would jump off the boat. <laughs> The culprit of this crime creepy, exploited that very, very thing to get clever. access to this house without having to force their way. <gasps> what are their names? That's the underwater the people. The Nimar was the guy, but who were but at least they his won't people? Be in any great danger. The important thing now is to find this copycat criminal. On any other day, that'd probably be a good idea. Unfortunately, it's not going to work today. You seem like you're trying to be nice, but your tone of voice is really condescending, lady. Take a look around and you'll see what I mean. This- not only did they stay off the muddy road to avoid leaving footprints, it looks like they were also- Unfortunately for them, I'm one of the best trackers in the business. They're not about yeah, to the get away with their song. little scheme on my watch. So basically, if we want to find the culprit, we just need to follow you on! I, it's driving me crazy not knowing what the name of the underwater people are. Black Panther. Forever. Water people. Talokan. They are the Talokan. Talokan. They all have a hand sign now. Ever since Black Panther, all of those movies, superhero movies or something... They all want a hand sign or something f t to go viral, you know? Wakanda forever. Talokan. Will Rise? What was theirs? Something. And then uh, in, in Black Adam, they like tried to do a triangle and it's like... They're all doing it now. I don't... None of them are... Six, 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 six. None of them are as successful as Black Panther's Wakanda Forever. Mm -hmm. My first gameplay. I sometimes I watch my old videos and I'm like, who is that? But it's me. That was me. And I'm probably not that much different. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to be honest or like promote the film? Because those are very different. Well, what? Let's just say this. Black Adam. What was the storyline? Can anyone tell me what the storyline was of Black Adam? Can anyone identify a single storyline at all? It really was kind of just made. So, uh, The Rock, 
Dwayne The Rock Johnson could do a lot of fighting scenes and go, you know, do his eyebrow thing. It, let's just say you can save your time and watch something else. It's, it's shot well. It's very pretty. It's just, if you want something complex, something with the storyline, something with the message, go somewhere else. Let's see, plot of Black Adam. Because also it was really confusing because Black Adam is connected to Shazam. But it was never really explained how it was connected to Shazam. In 2600 BC, the tyrannical king Akhtan of, in present day, Kandak is oppressed by the, oh, there's a lot of new words in here, Ishmael, by the Ishmael reveals himself as, <laughs> nearly 5,000 years after he was bestowed with the almighty powers of the ancient gods and imprisoned and imprisoned just as quickly, Black Adam is freed from his earthly tomb, ready to unleash his unique form of justice on the modern world. How is that a plot? Hmm. Hi. Hmm. Um. It just... There was nothing to follow in the movie. You could look away for like half an hour and you would still uh, know what's going on because they're still fighting. Since the culprit's trying to be cautious and low risk, I'll bet they left through an area with some vegetation for cover, but mm. not so much that it would slow them down. I feel bad for The Rock though because apparently he's been trying to get a Black Adam movie made for a very long time. And... It just kind of flopped. And now the DC universe is like getting remade. So the possibility, the likelihood that they're going to keep Black Adam with The Rock playing Black Adam is like 2%. It's a very low possibility. I know they like kind of said, yeah, you can stay as Black Adam. I can get a mountain bird as my pet. Oh, wait, in my teapot. Oh, the bird mountain in my teapot. Oh, I, I saw a pot and saw a pet. I want to, I want more pets, more companions. Look at my green sea. Hello. You can't just go out here. Who do you think you are, dude? What is it doing? It's just wiggling around, wigging out. Look at how amazing Yoimiya is. With her 82 damage. <laughs> oh, was I supposed to follow Yellen? Sorry, Yellen, I got distracted. <laughs> She's just standing there like... <laughs> Unlock something? Tie 2020. Oh my god, don't quote me. I probably have really dumb quotes. I mean, look at this. If you're a fan of The Rock, definitely watch it because but they he's in it. <laughs> didn't occur naturally. Something heavy was being dragged this way, meaning we're headed in the right direction. But I think they tried to push the anti-hero too much because they couldn't they had him do villainous things and then like two hero, hero things. <sighs> Their pace has and increased. they couldn't find like normally people the right way to build him as a character because I feel like they were too stuck Whatever's trying to, to speed be good be and bad and finding instance, a way to be in the middle reaching the home stretch like Deadpool is a good anti-hero because he tries to do her heroic things but to other people it turns out kind of villainous you know but it's not like he's intentionally being good or bad. So I think him as a character kind of works as an anti-hero. There they are! Look! A treasure hoarder tent! Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, not the treasure hoarders again! I think anti-heroes are just really hard to pull too. off. Because... It's the season for their antics! Because anti-heroes are really based off of opinion, you know? It's a, an opinion on if they're a hero or a villain. I mean, like, 
Iron Man, I think he kind of started off in the MCU as like a uh, an anti hero because like the government and people didn't really like him as a as a person, and then Iron Man was like kind of uh, a menace. But then he turned into a hero, and you know, like it's really. I feel like anti-heroes really depend on storyline because it's their justification for doing things and how they do things that makes them an anti-hero, you know? The Rock kind of plays the same character. What's my favorite, uh, my favorite superhero film? I don't know if I like it just because of nostalgia, if I've watched it so many times or if it's actually good, but I really like the original Avengers, you know, the first Avengers. I adore that movie. It's definitely one of my comfort movies. If I were to like go on Netflix and I want to choose a superhero movie, I definitely like the Marvel movies the most. I don't like a lot of the DC movies. I think Wonder Woman was okay and Aquaman was okay, but like Justice League, no. So what would be my favorite? I really like Thor Ragnarok, but like everyone likes Thor Ragnarok. I just like the Thor movies and the Captain America movies. I thought Black Widow was good, but I wish they had done it before. I felt like her storyline fit earlier in the cinematic universe than after Endgame, you know? Like the whole concept of You make me un poco loco, un poco loco The way you keep me guessing, I'm not in an lesson counted as a blessing. I am just un poco loco. Okay, you got me distracted there. <laughs> but yeah, The Rock does play a lot of the same characters. I think when he tries to branch out, he kind of falls back into it. So, I mean, he's not a bad actor. It's just, he's good at one thing. <laughs> Come on, let's round him up. Yeah, let's beat him up. I feel like I would be an anti-hero or a villain. I don't think I would be a hero. I like fighting. Unexpected, but welcome. Daily trolls. I think maybe I'd be kind of like Harley Quinn. You know, not with the Joker boyfriend thing, but like just the way she's kind of moving throughout the world. The second Captain America movie? Yeah. That was good. I really like Civil War, just because it introduces so many of my favorite characters. I like it. I like it like that, and I like the hey. fighting. <gasps> yeah, Logan was you? good. Where did you come from? I'm sad he they did that to him though. Don't look at me like that. Mm, the okay. Confess, and we'll go easy on you. My patience is running low. So why don't you do us both a favor, hmm? I liked X-Men First Class. <laughs> I I didn't realize X-Men First Class wasn't like popular at all, but I liked it. The original Spider-Man trilogy. I remember the first two Spider-Man films, but I really don't remember the one with Venom in it. You know, like with the where he goes evil. I really don't remember that one. But I really like the way they did the Spider-Man um, multiverse sort of thing with the three Spider-Men. I thought that was clever, kind of having them all come together. Are you kidding me? You think I'm scared of you? It also just makes it so all of their movies are canon now, you know? They can just say, oh, that's a different universe. So basically Marvel kind of made it so they can do anything they want, basically, with their, um, with their characters or storylines. Because if it doesn't mesh with the MCU Universe 616, I think, they can just say, oh, this is Universe 300. <laughs> Perfect. And then they have so many cameo opportunities. I think that's also where Marvel gets it really right, is because so many of their characters are recognizable and they have their own films. When you have a character cameo in somebody else's film, there are still fans of that cameo character's 
who can like recognize them, you know? Whereas in DC, when they have a character cameo, it's not like that character has ever been in a film before. It's like our first time seeing that character. So if you don't know, um, if you don't know like the DC universe and everyone's like, oh my God, that's the Riddler. You would be like, who's the Riddler? Spider-Man 3 was the weakest. Yeah. I don't think I've seen the original Spider-Man trilogy in a really long time. I, I think it's so funny how the original Spider-Man, you know, he has it from his wrist. And then Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland Spider-Man are like, that comes out of your body? And he's like, Toby Maguire's like, yes. <laughs> Perhaps not. But I know my first be. gameplay is really popular still. Good for me. I'm so sorry, Yellen. I'm like not giving you any of my. Oh, what? I have to play Yellen. I wasn't giving her any of my attention. I'm so sorry, lady. Seems like you're not all talk after all. Oi. There's no going back now. Better up my game. Mercy. Have mercy. Never. Mercy is for the weak. Oh, it's a little late for that. I've come this far. I might as well finish the job. Do it. Do it. Do it. I surrender. I surrender, please. I'll do whatever you say. We take please no prisoners. Mercy. And you're going to go blabbing about us and beating you up. We can't have that. Zip the lips. <laughs> Tell us everything. I had a really dark thought, and I don't think I should say it. <laughs> I'm going to say it anyways. You know, if we don't want him talking bad about us, spreading rumors about us, beating them up, it'll just take the tongue. Can't talk without tongue. I know, it's really dark, but it's true! You know, that's what they did in ancient times. They would take your tongue. You talk bad about the king, tongue removed. You know, Game of Thrones, Sir Ilan Payne, bring me his... Tongue. <laughs> but then they could write. But most of the time back then, people were illiterate. So if they didn't have a tongue, they couldn't do anything about it. But now you take their tongue, they can just write down what happened, probably. Paimon is not a friend. She's emergency food. Paimon's an enemy. I still think Paimon's going to be chance. evil eventually. And I'm warning you. Don't make me ask twice. You have purple eyeshadow on? Since a when? I won't, I swear. Um, you know, so... Lantern writes, I know I'm with the treasure hoarders and everything, but... I don't really have any kind of experience with robbing people and whatnot. You shouldn't Though rob I, uh, people, it's not nice. I don't have the guts to break into somebody's house. Then where'd you get the stuff? Wow, you're really going to- No, not at all, I'm just- Okay. I racked my brains trying to think of what I could do. And eventually, I remembered something from back when I was a- I remember the tune, so I- I figured I'd try it for myself. Oh, I thought I it mean, was just a singing tune, happen. not a horn tune. And, but they did. And they just left all their stuff right there for the taking. I mean, that's kind of clever. I just, if you could I think of doing resist. all of that, maybe you deserve the stuff, you know? You did a good job, dude. You can keep one thing. It was completely wrong of me. I know that now. I'll return everything that I took. It's all still in perfect condition. Is it? It will be like it was never gone. Please, give me a chance, huh? No. Let me make it right. Give you a chance, huh? Sounds to me like you'd rather strike some kind of a deal than spend Lantern right behind bars. Yes. Yes. Why is she wearing a pale purple lip? That lip does not match, lady. You should be wearing... A darker color. You should be wearing a, a little bit something that complements blue. Mm, just the pale purple lip? No. You know how to bargain. I'll give you that. It, you'll have to take a walk with me. Should have done something darker. Maybe a neutral lip would have been fine, but purple? Once we've returned the goods, We'll Warpel? find the owner of the house, and you can apologize to- You know, as a former victim of this kind of crime yourself, I doubt anyone understands the fear you in- Does your greed matter more to you than your fear? Yes. More to the point. If you can play a tune from memory, 
Don't you think you should be capable of making an honest living? Money, money, money. Ain't it funny? In a rich man's world. Ah, all the things I could do if I had a little money. It's a rich man's world. That song, I was obsessed with that song when I was younger. I loved it so much. You know, anytime someone would mention money, I would go, I, it, 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 it consumed me. Because I, I, I had the original Mamma Mia uh, Broadway CD, and that, that I had it in the car, like, all the time. So driving to school, I wasn't driving, you know, but going to school, listening to Mamma Mia, coming home, listening to Mamma Mia, going to an event, listening to Mamma Mia. I'm always listening to Mamma Mia. I, for the longest time when I was younger, I didn't listen to the radio because my parents thought, oh, bad songs on the radio, you know, you can't control. So I would always listen to like CDs and Mamma Mia was one of my favorites. So money, money, money it must be funny in a rich man's world. <laughs> That's enough hints for you. You'll have plenty of time oh, yeah. to reflect I, on all of this yourself. I've been in musical theater since kindergarten and in high school they didn't have musical theater it was just regular theater so i would do that i think middle school too but i i love theater i'm an actress there's not <laughs> much left to wrap up so i'll take it hmm. what is it i'm still not sure how you first got your hands on this information so play it safe when you get back what but don't the mention to told me about it ran into me out here what are you gonna do, huh? Take my tongue? I can still write. You helped a lot with the investigation and arrest anyway, so it's perfectly fair for you to get all the credit. Just take it. It works better for me, too. Don't get so close to me. I have boundary issues. See you when I see you. And happy lantern right. That was a really good way to threaten me because she got right up into my face but was being nice. It gave me chills and shivers. Random event, a strange melody complete. Although, it's kind of a shame that we never got that treasure hoarder guy to play the melody again. Why? Right? When we were chatting with Mr. Dvorak, music, and most music is, right? It can help us relax, feel all warm and fuzzy, recall happy memories, or even just think happy thoughts. I would never imagine that music could be used to commit crimes. Oh, really? Huh. Makes sense. <gasps> Paimon's musical understanding improves again. Well, anyway, now that everything's resolved, let's get back to Liyue Harbor. Paimon's still waiting for us with our random event reward. Was that breaking the fourth wall? Random event rewards? What is this music? Give me treasures. Give me all your money. Money, 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 money. Diary of Rawl the Adventurer. Luha Lu 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 Hua Pool. Oh, all the way up there. Symbols for the places. Huh? By the monster, it's a wind. Oh. Oh. Clever. It's the little touches, you know? The little things they think to include that makes it amazing. Ooh, ah, I almost hit that. What's your name, Bywin? <laughs> Bye, Wen. I did it. Inazuma's is the the their le electro symbol, I think. That's great news. Oh, please wait here a moment if you would be so kind. No. Le is Ningguang gonna come here? I miss her. <gasps> Ningguang. My greetings to both of you. I thought I could Long put my headphones on that way. 
Oh, I think I need to take my buns out. No need to be so formal with us, Ningguang. We've known each other for a long time now. Wow, I you miss must be super busy you. with all the preparations for Lantern Rite. Don't mind us. On the contrary, I think it is those that I have known longest to whom I should extend the greatest courtesies. I love you. Alas, Ningguang. on a different day, I would invite Ningguang. both of you inside for some tea and a brief respite from your travels. But you're quite right. Trivial matters aside, there's no escaping the fact that we have a grand concert to organize. I have time for tea. You want some tea? You want... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the... Yeah, I know what you're talking about, the arch. They're gates, I think, is what they're called, because they're usually at temples. Once the performance itself is over, we'll then need to invite the representatives of the Irida. Simply put, there will always be work to do. Ningguan, I love you. Whoa, you're already thinking... <laughs> well, we can discuss more current affairs if you'd prefer. Like our relationship? I trust you saw this year's Ming Shao Lantern at no. the docks when you arrived at the city? Yeah. I did not. It looked like a oh. ghost. Which adeptus is it modeled on this time? Me. Seagazer. I believe you're familiar with the name. Not a clue. Legend holds that he was free-spirited and easygoing. The sea gays are dead. A cheerful soul and a loyal. On this marvelous lantern right, we pray that the fallen heroes may be guided home. If the sound of music can flow like the rivers and streams into every corner of the land, perhaps the souls of those who have gone before us will hear the song of a new era. What do you I think the song the of this era be would be? Liking. What is the most iconic song of this decade? Thoughts. Oh, they're gonna love them. I'm unsure of it. At least, if the guy you mentioned is anything go by, the Adepti and heroes of the past sound like a positive and free-spirited, cheerful bunch. They're sure to be open to new music. What about Zhao? We're gonna have to go to Zhao and be like, you wanna listen to music? You know... Rock opera, opera rock, Zhao. You wanna go on a date? <laughs> well, I heard that you'll be going on a search with Ganyu to find the descendants of a fairy lady from a Fontaine legend. Was I? I'm sure this quest to uncover the truth behind an ancient story will turn into a most charming tale. I love Do you. Share it with me, won't you? Are I you inviting me to your out. palace? To the Jade Palace? I'm fearless. Ha! What you looking at? What you what you looking at? What you looking at? What you what you looking at? What you looking at? What you what you looking at? Mm 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 mm. I'm fearless. Ha! What is this? Are these like different side quests? So cute. The engine. What is, what is that? Is that an Oni? Is that Ito? Lord Ito? Wait. During Lancer Ride, Tishian, a recruiter for the Teen yeah, Adventurer's Guild, is eagerly rubbing her hands together in anticipation of an interesting event. A man's mel melancholic, yearning adept eye and demons in a heartfelt romance played out in paper. Those are the events. During Lantern Rite, Hsing, the navigator of the Crux fleet, seems to be preparing for a unique training test. Look at the koi. In Liyue Harbor, an adventurer is busy with a certain task. Those are just mini games? Oh, okay, I'll do them later. A single harmony for an irreplaceable soul. Is this what I'm doing? Oh, for the enigmatic tune. Festive fever. Yow yow. Chong Yoon is here. 
I already have C6 Chongyun. <gasps> we can get Primos. <gasps> and a crown! I love me a crown. And I love me some teapot decorations. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> I love that. Love it. And it's... What are... Your name? Cloud. Cloud Retainer. Okay. Okay. Vigilance at sea. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing now? Uh... Yes. The mountain changes as I fill it. I never thought I would have a cuddly cat. This cat, this is the little one. She does this thing with her tongue where it just sticks out. You see her little tongue? It, she'll just be like that sometimes. She's like... And I'm like, what are you doing? What is it? That was just from right now. Ty, that's bad? What's bad? What did I do? It can dry up the tongue and fall off. I did... <gasps> what? What am I supposed to do? Just stick it back in her mouth? <sighs> I mean, it's only sometimes. It's, her tongue isn't out all the time. Am I supposed to... <laughs> her tongue is gonna fall off? Are you just messing with me? I bet you're messing with me, huh? I'm gullible. Mm -hmm. Two days? It's real, though. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm not there all the time. What if she just walks around with her tongue out? She's gonna lose the tip of her tongue. Oh well. I thought it was so cute, but I guess it's not cute. It's dangerous. I must protect the little one. We call... We haven't called her Lily for short, but I think it would be cute to be Lily. Eight o'clock. Will that work? I feel like I've already gone two days. <laughs> impurity, show your impurities. Finally. Time for us to meet up with Ganyu. Let's oh. see Yujin Terrace. Whoopsies. I am at the Yujin Yujin Terrace. Yujin? Ganyu, wake up. Knock knock. Boom 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 boom. Greetings, traveler and Paimon. Uh, what time is it? Time for you to take a nap. Are you okay, Ganyu? You were nodding off there. Didn't you sleep well last night? Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Let's My discuss head. the matter at hand. My head feels like it's squeezed like a lemon. Since last time, I've been thinking a lot. In essence, someone rescued a drowning man and performed some music. If that were all there was to it, but the tune was allegedly so wonderful that the drowning man forgot about everything else, even his own impending death, and only came to his senses after being brought to shore. What song would that be for me? I don't know, but whenever the song Anti-Fragile comes on by Le Seraphim, I'm like, Anti-Fragile, 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 fragile Or... What do I keep getting attracted? Just so got your foot quick out. Ah! I cannot explain this emotion. Just so got your foot for that. Ah! Those are my favorite groups right now. Stray Kids and La Seraphim. I got a Stray Kids album. And I got 
uh, a PC of Bong Chan. Bang Chan. Christopher Chan. I got a PC of Chan and Hyunjin. I, I, I think when I have favorite groups, they become my favorite groups because I like every person in the group, you know? I know some people like have biases and stuff. Or, you know, alt biases, but when I have a favorite group, I like all of them. So I I don't mind getting any of the PCs, you know, so it feels like it's it's no um what is the word? There's no risk at getting an album because I won't be upset if I get like, oh my god, I got Felix. Who doesn't like Felix? Hmm? Like, oh my god, I got Chaewon. <laughs> Chaewon! Or Unche? Yunche? I don't know how to say her name. Unche? Yunche? I'm still learning about K pop and that sort of. But. <laughs> it's a. Uh, there's a lot of. Perhaps there was an adeptal power at work in that music that. He, as a mortal, could not perceive. You know what I realized, well, perhaps too? Perhaps he sensed a power surrounding him, but lacked the words to describe it, not knowing where it came from. Hold on, lady. You know what I realized? I realized I really don't listen to the lyrics of, of a lot of the music I listen to, especially when I was younger. Because I thought, oh, I've never listened to K-pop, I've never listened to J-pop, or, you know, all of these different languages i was like i've only listened to english music uh wrong apparently apparently a lot of the songs i used to like when i was little or just like songs i would hear on the radio all the time I'm like ah, yeah there was k-pop and japanese music and spanish music and now that i like recognize the languages i'm like that's what this is like <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, like, I don't listen to, I don't pay attention when I listen to music. I'm just like, ah, oh, that's a good beat. I don't recognize, oh my god, that's in Korean. Well, now I do, and now I'm coming to a lot of realizations about my taste in music. Either way, <laughs> if this part of the story is true, then the rescuer has to have been an adeptus. You really think so? But this story is all the way from Fontaine. Paimon always Isn't does this. Isn't a bit of a long shot? Also, Paimon's really curious about how She's people doing from it Fontaine again. think this fairy lady looks. Maybe they gave her horns. Then like you. It's like Ganyu. Ganyu. Hmm. Actually, Ganyu, if you had to save a drowning person, how would you go about it? Huh? Me? Um, yeah. Are you the fairy lady? Well, I'd get them to the shore, and then I'd... Probably hide behind a tree and watch them for a while. What? You'd watch them for a while? To make sure they're okay, right? Once I was sure that they were going to be okay, I'd slip away without a sound. We could trust our Ganyu. Got it. She wouldn't so be a stalker. Ganyu's the type of person who doesn't like taking messages. credit for her good deeds. No, it's not like that. I'm just... Not very good at explaining things. And I also find it really awkward accepting other people's gratitude. Me too. I mean, I really love accepting people's gratitude. I love it when people say thank you. But at the same time, I'm a, I, how, how do you respond to that? You're welcome. That's like so last century. <laughs> what if someone said thank you and just like, dope? <laughs> I usually say, no problem, or like, no worries, or just a smile. Thank you so much, Ty, I really appreciate it. <laughs> well, what if this adeptus Burb. in the story had a similar attitude? She was probably thinking something like, <clears throat> One was merely passing by and saw fit to address this egregious disruption to one's graceful zithering at once. You may keep your thanks to yourself. That was really good, Paimon. <laughs> that was act as far as I'm aware. Cloud Retainer isn't, um, if we set off now, 
You'll be able to confirm either way if it's... I've been Let's in Leo Harbor for her. so long now that I... Sounds great! And we're pretty close with Cloud Retainer by now, so we probably don't even need to bring her food this time, right? I've prepared a gift for her to mark the festival. We should always Just give her case. food. She's a, uh, an adeptus. Cloud Retainer it's spends respect. most of her days studying mechanisms in her abode. Never mind. I promised I'd help Mr. Dvorak, and you... now that I've made the contract, Please I can't be having you. second thoughts. Think about yourself. Traveler, Paimon, let's set off for Cloud Retainer's abode. We will, but... Kanyu, you don't always have to put people before yourself. It's okay to care about yourself too and do things you want to do. It seems like this is a tough decision for Ganyu, but Paimon gets why she'd be so anxious. Hmm. Me. Okay, how about this? Wait, did she leave already? Ganyu! A single harmony from an ir irreplaceable soul. Hello, gamer boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. I'm usually not on when other people who have friended me are on, so I usually just get like a lot of messages that I'll respond to. And then, <laughs> you know, I'll have to wait until I log back in again and they'll be like saying stuff. I'm like, oh, well, it wasn't there, so I gotta respond now. I'm not very good at being punctual in responses. Because a lot of times I'll see it and be like, I'll respond to that in a second. And then I forget. I forget that it's there. He was a gamer boy. He said, see you later, boy. Tree. Tree. I love this song. <sighs> da, 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 da. <gasps> That's the most beautiful melody I've ever heard. What is the melody? I feel like there's an easier way to do this. But I'm just gonna do my little climby climb. Bird! Did I really climb that high? I did. I am spectacular. Look at how beautiful. Da -na -na. Beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. Where'd the sign go? Sun crab in the sky? It's definitely a sun crab. Where'd it go? Is it below me? What is this? Have I done this yet? I think I have. Oh. There it is. Boop, boop, boop. Imperatish. Ow. Oh. I'm so tired from trying to keep up. Don't either of you need to take any breaks? Do you have asthma? Oh, I can't believe. Huh? Shoes? Did we miss her? Did we just knock on the door? You there? She doesn't like to travel. So in the past, it's always been the other Adepti Where who come she? to visit her during the. True. Now that I think about it, since she's not here, I guess the next step is... Uh-oh. Will it involve a lot more traveling? I need to take this down. My hair hurts. Let's see how curly. Mm. Um... <gasps> Got it! Paimon has a great idea! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot more than I thought it would. Just gotta pin the bangs back. I'm growing them out. So right now they're kind of like right here so it can make a curtain bang, but it'll block my beautiful makeup. I got a haircut recently, so it refreshed the layers. It was just a shag. I've been getting shags a lot recently, so... That's like my hairstyle. A shag, a shag. Is that a bad word? It's a hair shag. Oh, I... 
I know why I thought that. Please go on. British. Chilly. Chilly. Chillin', 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 chillin' with my buddies. Our goal here is to find the Adeptus that helped Dvorak's ancestor, right? Wait. <laughs> we can't hear any music I amuse right myself. Now, but if she's really as nice as Yes, I think that's fair to so Does Cloud Retainer have a human a form? To pretend to fall in little you know perfectly well that Paimon can't swim. Paimon would sink like a rock. Yes. How dare you ask that question? He'll always be hot to me. He'll be the hottest. He'll be the best. You're the best around. No, 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 no. I mean, if they brought in like another tan character who was really flirty and Kaya, maybe. But Kaya, number one, number one Kaya fan, right here. Yeah, he's, I, I, he, he's one of the only tan characters in here. Give me some brown skin. Lost my train of thought. Just trust Paimon! The water's pretty deep over there. Quick, swim to the very center. And drown? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's why I like Sino. He's pretty. And he's tan. Look at him. Look at him! He's beautiful. He's beautiful. They're just so... pale. Nothing wrong with being pale, but like... They're all pale. Give me some variety! Perfection. Hello! Hee <laughs> hee! That's all I got. <sighs> she was a gamer boy. She said to you later, boy. Center of the pool. The center of the pool is here. Oh, maybe here. Fish! Get out of here. Where am I supposed to drown? Here? Retainer? Someone carries you ashore so quickly. <gasps> Shell! Oh my! <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> God damn. He really needs to give me some warning before he shows up. He's always sneaking up on me. I, he always just, I never expected him. I love you. He came when I called for help. He's always listening for me. Is he spying on me? Kiss me. I'm on Shen, huh? How do you feel right now? Where's Chang Yoon? Where is your nephew? Yeah, where is he? Kiss me too. <coughs> There's water in my lungs. I need mouth to mouth. <coughs> I don't uh, mind the audience. Shenha! I'm the conqueror of demons. <gasps> Does she have a crush on Shenha? Uh, why don't you say something? <sighs> Please don't make Paimon explain it. I am here because I love you. Saranhe. Is that how you say it? I love you. Finger hearts. Cheek hearts. Ugh. Yay! Heart. Let me love you. <laughs> okay, fine. Paimon will explain. No. Don't explain. We're looking for an Adeptus who's good at being alive, but if the Adepti aren't gonna stay home, then how are we supposed to find them? 
Huh? It wasn't me. It was you this time. There's still some water in my lungs, Zhao. Think I need some... Some breath of life. Uh, yeah, so this Adeptus is most likely a woman. Uh, don't be sexist, Paimon. A man can have a beautiful voice. A man can look like a fairy. And I am not an Adeptus, as you both already know, Traveler and Paimon. Hip window! Hip window! <sighs> okay, so this is Paimon's fault. Yeah, Paimon, you made me drown. But I got saved by some gorgeous people. I'll do it again. No way Paimon would have suggested this idea if she'd known how awkward this was going to be. It's not awkward. I got to be held in his slightly muscled arms. <laughs> Give Zhao more muscles! Glad you're okay. Don't act like you don't care about me, sir. I see right through you. This isn't your first time saving me. You just can't bear to see me hurt. Love it. As far as I know, the one you seek is no Yaksha. Your actions here caused others a great deal of worry. Do not repeat them again in the future. That was a roundabout way of saying, I was so worried for you, Ty. I can't believe you almost drowned. Oh, it gave me so much anxiety. Don't ever do it again. He's not that subtle. But I love it. This is when you give him the back hug, you know, and be like, thank you for worrying about me, Xiao. And romanced. Get that man romanced right away. This instant. <gasps> oh no. As ever, the conqueror of demons comes and goes just like the wind. <laughs> right. I didn't dare to say a word just now. I have a really funny video of me breaking down the other day. Uh, it was, you know, like the type of breakdown where you're like, <gasps> it was a good breakdown. It was a breakdown just because I was overwhelmed, but I made a, a hilarious video out of it. I don't know How's if I'll post it, though. Morning, Shen he? Have you made any plans for Lantern Ride? We could spend it together in Liyue Harbor if you'd like. They grew up together, right? So, childhood romance? Childhood friends to lovers? It doesn't really look like a heart when I do it. It looks like I'm holding a burger. Finger hearts. Oh, pew, pew, pew! I had pew. planned to spend the festival with Master this year. <sighs> However... That's like a lovey-dovey look. She's like... Oh, speaking of Cloud Retainer, earlier this morning, she set off for Mount Hulao at oh. dawn. So they both grew up with the Cloud Retainer, but they didn't grow up together. Is the Cloud Retainer setting them up? I noticed she was using an Adeptus art of some kind to protect a mechanism that looked like a boiler. Uh, so please excuse me for a moment. I think I'll leave the gift in her abode. You don't want to wait for her? Isn't she a mama? Sure. Thank you. Mama. It sounds like Ganyu and Shenha have got Yes. During the summer Shenha and has friends I to train with Master. In the other months of Ganyu arranged accommodations for me in the city and also recommended are her pants several torn up? positions for me. Or are those details? That one looks like a tear, but that one looks like a detail. Did they change Shenha's outfit? But when I try to blend in by referring to her as Has Ms. she only Ganyu had one banner? Lady Ganyu, like the others. She says I mustn't address her like that. I don't think Shenha's has had a rerun yet. I'm so glad I spent money to get Shenha and Zhao. I hated that they were on the same banner at the same time. But I, I did it. I got both of them. At a price. Hmm. Sometimes I'm supposed to copy other people. Sometimes I'm not. 
it's a little difficult to keep track of everything. You do whatever you want to do. You want to be me? That's fine. I'm great. You want to be that piece of grass over there? That's fine. They're great. You got it. Oh, is that what it is? Hmm. Noted. Shenha rerun when? So, you came looking for Master today because you wanted to ask her about the Mystery Adeptus. Is that right? You're so clever. Yep. Oh, speaking of that, have music? Uh, you don't know what music is, my lady? Uh, a kind of a happy or relaxing sound. That is not how you describe music. Okay, I'm done. I also left her a note so that she knows where to find us. We will. Yay! That's really helpful. We were just talking about this thing called music. Mm -hmm. And based on Paimon's description, I do believe I hear it every day. Please follow me. The sound of music. Oh, really? What is it? Great! Let's oh, go! The hills are alive with the sound of music. Ah! <laughs> The sound of music. Ah, the hills are alive with the sound of. Where did that come from? Boop, boop. Get down, get down. Boop, boop. My silly. I want a pink silly. I love my green one, but I want a pink one too. Oh, do I have to go up? Up, up, up we go. We go. Let's go. Flowers for Zhao. What is my Zhao? Zhao. What do you need, sir? Ah, this. I hate this. Never, I never want to fight the Primo Jimja. Gotcha, Impact. Ohio? Ohio! Did you guys ever see Victorious? I... I guess not a lot of people saw Victorious that I knew. But, you know, that Tina... Trina? Trina song? Chicago, Chicago. It's a city that's exciting. It's a city that's exciting. It's a city that's exciting just for me. Chicago, Exorcism uses thaumaturgy Chicago. and martial arts to conquer evil. You there are other that? means to the same end, but they are not the true way. It was stuck in my head for months. And whenever I would sing it, people would be like, what is that from? And I'd be like, Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> I don't even know where Chicago is. Where is Chicago? It's on the East Coast, right? This is the place. I enjoy training here to the sound of music. The sound of music. Ah. Mm. I used to like watching Nickelodeon and Disney Channel and Cartoon Network. Back when cable was a thing, you know, you would just put on whatever channel you like, and sometimes it would just like have marathons of, of, of shows, or sometimes you'd only have to tune in at a certain time to see your show. You couldn't just say, "I want to see this now," you know, Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> How I got exposed to anime is because at the at night, Cartoon Network turned into Adult Swim, and Adult Swim played a lot of anime. Like Naruto and Bleach and Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> what? Oh no! Paimon's got death! Paimon can't hear anything! Can you hear your own voice screaming at me? Oh, whew! Toonami? Paimon has death after all! Paimon hurt you when you just spoke. I don't know if I had Toonami. I had one channel, I forgot what it was called, but it would play a lot of the really old, um, really old cartoons. Like the Flintstones, and there was one where like a dog was a cowboy. 
It was a late night block on Cartoon Network. Ah, I just don't recognize the name Toonami. Maybe. I, I was the type of kid who would stay up really late, so I would watch everything. Probably shouldn't have watched Robot Chicken, you know? Or like, what was that show where there was a talking french fry and a meatball and a, a drink? What was that? I think my I was traumatized a little bit. Who who decided that Courage the Cowardly Dog was okay to be on regular Cartoon Network and not on not on Adult Swim? Who did that? Because Courage the Cowardly Dog literally changed my life. I would I loved Courage the Cowardly Dog, but I, you know it, it it was weird. It was weird and it was scary and. I was obsessed with it. You know, I did a makeup look on one of the Courage of the Cowardly Dog characters. It was the fox. That fox impacted my entire life. And he was only in like one episode. But that fox, you know, he took off the glasses and he had like really weird eyes. I don't. You know, there are just some things that take over the course of your life. And Courage of the Cowardly Dog was one of them. And Billy and Mandy, you know, the, the the one with the Grim Reaper. Remember that one? Dexter's Laboratory. Foster's Friendly Home. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. That, that was another one that really changed my life. Because then I was like, I knew my imaginary friends were real. I was the type of kid who had a lot of imaginary friends, okay? I bet you could have guessed that. I knew you would have known I had imaginary friends. I had one of them that was named Slushy, and it was a polar bear because of the golden compass. <laughs> Johnny Quest? Yes, I do remember Johnny Quest. And Samurai Jack, and Powerpuff Girls, and... I'm sure if you said the name, I'd remember it. Teen Titan was my life. When Teen Titan... You know the blade guy with the the mask and his 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 fighting with Robin and then Starfire Starfire. She affected me a lot. You know when Starfire ran away, I was like, oh my god, <gasps> Starfire's never gonna come back to the Teen Titans. And you know that episode where Starfire and Blackfire, you know they're kind of fighting, and that oh my. God. God. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched I haven't watched cable in a really long time. But but um I don't I think it's HB HBO. One of the streaming services has a lot of the Cartoon Network shows. And you know what? I still like Cartoon Network shows. I think it's more just nostal nostalgic versus good. Oh, remember Ed Ed and Eddie? That I used to watch that all the time because it was on. I think I think it was on like when I was getting ready for school, so I would watch that a lot. And apparently, Ed, Ed and Eddie, there's a theory that like they're all dead and in limbo or something. I don't know, but looking back on it, I can see that a little bit. Uh. Anyway, uh, where is this music? Here, here I am. The faint sound of birdsong. The quiet murmur of the streams. <gasps> oh, she's so These poetic. These are relaxing sounds. Yeah, in purgatory. Are they not the music of which you speak? It is a certain kind of music. It's like ambient music. Oh. Uh, okay, fine. It's all time on... Oh. And a melody is? What is the melody? Hey, don't you patronize time on? Let's get one thing straight. No. I'm, hey, why don't you just sing that one melody Shen has heard before? It'll probably help her to understand what <gasps> we're talking about. <gasps> she gonna sing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't hear myself, so I wonder how that sounded. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. Oh, was that? 
from the opera that Yunjin sang? Don't know. Because mm -hmm. I don't remember it. Melody and <sighs> it felt like I was transported back to the past. In my mind's eye, I could see the Zhao lanterns lighting up the night sky again. I miss Junha so much. I'm so glad she's back. <sighs> We're all there, raising as I watched Yunjin's performance. Yunjin? I, I thought it was Yunjin in my heart. <sighs> and as the drink reached my stomach, it went when you hummed that melody just now. <laughs> Feelings from a whole year ago came right back to me. As strong as they were on that day. I wish Lumine had voice lines more. Oh. So Other than that's ether. the power of music. Wow, Shenha. That was so deep. You're so shallow. Music definitely has the power to bring up memories. It's like a time what about you, Ganyu? Are there any Um I don't remember if my I know some local folks on She has parents? And a few other I guess I don't really understand too. what an adeptus is. I thought, you know, like they were just kind of manifested. I didn't. She was born. I uh, did not expect that. <laughs> the songs of the sailors down at the docks. Was she born the as a goat? That the vendors call out in front of their and then she shops. got a the human tunes form. Of folk artists performing on the streets. I'm so confused on what you are. Yes, that's right. <laughs> In the past, whenever I heard the sound of those tunes, Nenny and Leo probably view me as a non-human. Poor Twenty. And they are right, in the sense that lame. I never could connect with humans' artistic expression not and their sentiments. Not talking to you, Ganyu. You're not lame. So I'm I saying been able I to was integrate lame. Into their community and be a part of their lives. She's half adeptus, so either her mama or her papa. Got together with an adeptus. She's a half blood. You need to go to camp, half blood. Meet Percy Jackson and Annabeth Chase. Who is your godly parent? If you had a godly parent, who, who do you think it would be? I feel like mine, realistically. Either Hermes or Hades. If it was one of the major gods. If it was a minor god, I feel like there's a lot of possibility. Yeah. I think those are accurate. <laughs> At least, that's the view I held in the past. Only more recently did I start to realize that... Hades... The only barriers are ones that I have erected with my imagination. Ah, uh, where's the dead? I don't know. It's hard to explain, okay? It's like, that's my dad. <laughs> Just think about how Nico D'Angelo is. Low-key, that was what I was like most of my life. You know, kind of bitter and... <laughs> Nobody likes me. Oh, mama. Or revenge. Yeah. And the power of the dead. Who wouldn't want that? You know, split open the earth and raise. I'm good. I'm too into it. It's okay. The way those melodies make me feel isn't all Stop that different from melodies. other people after it, all. It has that like They're TikTok sound. Mundane details of Honestly, everyday existence. Life's ups and downs, <laughs> joys and sorrows. I had a lot going on growing up, so I was kind of like an emotional roller coaster. You know, I'd be really happy and energized and really nice, and then all of a sudden, you know, like I'm I'm mean and sassy and glaring at people, or like really tired, you know. I know as kids, like, we're all kind of like that, but, like, I don't think I was very nice when I was younger. Maybe it's just, like, a perspective looking back now, and I was like, why did I do that? Or maybe I just am over-exaggerating what I think I was like, because, honestly, I don't really have that great of a memory. But I do know I was kind of, I mean, I was in Taekwondo, so I was in martial arts, so a lot of people saw me as that kind of person of, like, you know, tougher, and 
Ty's going to beat you up. So I kind of l- played into that a little bit, you know? I was like, yeah, stay away from me because I'm tough and mean. I never beat anyone up, okay? Never. Might have thought of it, but I never, never. But yeah. And yeah, we all grow up. I feel like looking back now as a literal adult in high school, I'm like, oh my god, I was a baby. A lot of people think you don't change a lot from high school. I think that's really a mentality that people who may had had a rough high school life will think about people who, you know, like were popular or were mean or like had all of this stuff going on. People who are on the other side of that would be like, that person will never change. Whereas I feel like you change a lot in college to like maybe 25. I mean, you're always changing. It's just maybe like part of your core values remain the same. I just think it's weird when people are like, people can never change. And you're like, okay, do you never change? You still a whiny little baby. That was mean. I'm sorry. Even though we come from different backgrounds and have different stories to tell, when it comes down to the most common things that we see and experience around us each day in the city, in that sense, we're all the same. Why is everyone a poet today? You go, Ganyu! You're really you making go, practice. girl. You have loads of friends in Liyue Harbor when you- Yes. Uh, technically speaking, we should refer to each other by the conventional forms of address used among fellow disciples. <sighs> but now that I know what constitutes- Thank you. If once the days are warmer, I, I would like to up. host you at my home in the city. You have a home? Please, invite Kuching as well. Girls' day! I've Am I invited? Of flowers. I'm sure some of them will be to your taste. <laughs> Where's gone you? Oh, she's in the garden taking a bite. A bite? What'd you make? Flowers? Ugh. You are too kind. Nonsense. Nonsense. You are my friend. I have cultivated and cared for the flowers just as you taught me. Once you've seen them for yourself, I will save so some sweet. for decoration. We can feast on the rest. <laughs> Eat the flowers. Then, thank you in advance. Wait, what? Do people say that? It doesn't matter, okay? You got the point across. No need to split hairs. Um... Paimon's more concerned about your idea of a girl's night out. You're not invited, Eating Paimon. Flowers? Really? This is... Hm. Who dares refer to one not by one's adeptus title, but merely as that illuminated bird? Hi. Master. <laughs> Shona's like... Sup. Our greetings, Cloud Retainer. Hey, Paimon, don't be disrespectful. Double humph. Double Now she has the gall to use it rather than she. Double Even humph. Even after being chastised once already, one has received your message. Turn her into a bug. On the matter of the... Well, shall one lead the way? I still have to complete my training for today. So I Turn will Paimon farewell into to a weasel. Here. Very well. Into a, a guinea oh, wait, pig, a shrew. Abode later this night. On this special occasion... You should indulge Turn her into a dragonfly. Dishes. If you want to release a Shao Lantern, thank you, everyone. Bye, Shenha. It was mm-hmm. nice to see you. Mm-hmm. More? Oh, that was it. She's a singer now. Oh, how much more? Eight days. Okay. That's where I'm gonna end it today. Cause I'm tired and hungry. Ew, I hated saying it like that. Don't ever let me say hungry like that again. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I am so happy I was able to stream and spend time with you all and chat with you all. Um, if you're not I already... I took coal to quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. You always do that, Chongyun. Chongyun infused water with ice is the most effective. 
If you're not already, please follow me here. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on all of my other social medias. Don't go, but I must. It's almost five o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch. I must promote healthy eating habits. I must. I will see you guys next mm, week. Yeah. Love you. Avida san. Why would I say that? Bye. Uh,